Let's rewind that. Let's rewind that. Welcome to my story. My story episode three. Welcome to my story. My story. Yes, my story. My story, not your story. My story. Welcome to my story. Share to everybody. All live video presenters. It's time for you to off your live video and listen to me. Because at the end of the day, many of you have been cashing out on my name. So off your live video and join. If there is something that you hate, that you don't want somebody to do to your son, that you don't want somebody to do to your brother, that you don't want somebody to do to anybody that is close to you, don't do it to anybody. It's the law of karma. It's the law of gravity. If there is something that you don't want anybody to do to you, if it hurts you that somebody is treating your brother this way, if it hurts you that somebody is treating your sister this way, don't do it to the next person. A very very good evening everyone welcome to today's live broadcast of ambassador dion osage mr random acts of kindness this is my story episode three for those of you who are new here for the first time this is a platform god has given to me to help transform lives to help bring out men who are depressed to help bring out women who are suffocated we can do better this is not about I am missing my wife, my ex-wife. This is not about I'm, 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 I'm pain. This is about you. This is about me. This is about helping our brothers who go home every single day depressed. A lot of men are going through depression, guys. Trust me. A lot of men are being depressed because they are not able to speak out. A, man, a lot of men are dying every single day because they are in a dark place. This is a fact. A lot of people are in in the hospital fighting mental heads. I will not like anybody to call me on my Nigerian WhatsApp. My Niger my number here in Europe, in Spain, is pinned on this broadcast. When it's time to call, you can call me then, okay? When it's time to call, you can definitely call me then. But for now, I just need one person who is going to be here to speak or to sing for me. Before we can continue, I need one person to call my line, my Spanish line, who can sing. I just want to hear a beautiful voice. If you are here, if you know you want to sing for me today, please go ahead and call me right now, okay? If you know you want to sing for me, go ahead and call me right now. On my WhatsApp night, I'm going to give out this number. Please, somebody should type it out for me. It's on this comment section, but let me type it right here. We're going to have about 90 minutes of a talk time today. Okay, somebody's calling me. Somebody's calling me. Let me see. Are you... Uh, hello? Hello, dear. Yeah, good evening. Amen. Thank you. The Lord is your amen, amen. And you will overcome. Amen. Give you courage to speak. 
Thank you. Thank you. That this job that you're doing, you will li you will come as a you a liberation to a lot of men that are committing suicide. Thank you. You will come as a liberation that a lot of men that are dying in mental health. Thank and you. they cannot speak because they are men, because of their ego. I see, I send the authority Almighty God to put the armor of God upon you. Amen. To speak and Amen. to defend those Amen. that are speechless. Amen. At this moment. I, 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 I say, Lord, over to you, Lord, as he speaks, put your word in his mouth. Amen. Don't let him pour. Many have gathered, but by the authority of the Holy Ghost, I lift you up in a Jesus. Amen, name. amen, and you amen. Go and do exploit. Amen. Go and do exploit. Amen. Go and do exploit. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Speaking ill of you, but this will be where that the Lord will lift you to higher heights. Amen. Amen. I'm walking you now with Christ. Amen. Okay? Amen. So, John, speak and don't be silent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that courage. Thank you so much, sis. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. It's okay, it's okay. With that short prayer alone, you have given me all the energy I need. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, wonderful lady. Thank you so much. And I, I, I need more people like her. I need more people like her who understand where I'm coming from. Who understand that I have moved on two years ago. Who understand that I am doing this for people who are patching through the same road that I have been through. I don't want you to go there. I don't want you to go home every night, hopeless, pain, thinking of committing suicide, thinking of why can't I just take my life? What? A lot, a lot of things is going on. Hold on, please. Let me take this call. Hello, do you know Saige? Hello. Yeah, hello, how are you? God bless you too, my dear. How are you? Yeah. Talk to us. I'm online. Okay, I want to. Yeah, I know. You want to sing for me? All right, please. I hope your voice is sweet too. If your voice is not sweet, not just sing now. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Oh yeah, make make me feel good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't understand anything you said. I don't know. Is you know Is that a spiritual sound or something? I'm sorry, I'm sorry dear. I just don't get it. I'm just I was trying to understand where you're coming from. Hey <laughs> this is your own. We'll kinda we'll go studio. We'll kinda go studio but we'll run now. I beg, I beg, I beg. I thank you so much for giving me a strength this evening. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's hold up on the line so that we don't spend too much time, uh, you know, making fun on air. Thank you, each and every one of you who love me. Thank you so much for each and every one of you who see the good side of me, not the bad side. I mean, I'm not a perfect guy. I have a lot of bad side. But every single day, every single day, God is giving me the grace to move on in life. Every single day when I wake up, I ask God, God, I am for you. Direct me. Because at the end of the day, from the last time we were on live video, somebody somewhere took their last breaths. From the last time yesterday, from the last 24 hours when we were here together, somebody took their last breaths. 
Do you know that the human heart breathes over 30 million times every year? The human heart breathes over 30 to 40 million times every single year. You calculate 30 million times your age and see how many times God has let you breathe and you are still here being a hateful person. At this time, all we need is to find a way to unify, is to find a way to be our brother's keeper, is to find a way to give each other hope, is to find a way to be the strength of those persons who are heartbroken, of those persons who just need a little love, of those persons who will just say, hey, Dion, it's going to be alright. Do you know what that means to me? For thousands of years from around the world, my line is filled, my inbox is filled. For thousands of years who have called me from around the world, who are telling me, you know what, I have been through this route. It wasn't easy. If I had done what you are doing today, maybe I could have got out from it easy. Why are you telling me not to speak up? Why are you telling me not to address how I feel? Why are you telling me to be quiet? Do you rather me die silently or speak up and live to see another 20, 50, 60 years? What options do you think is best for me? You tell me. I want to know. Do you think it is better for me going through pain? Do you think it's better for me? I, I want everybody to answer this. I want to see your comments if you are watching me right now from any part of the world. Somebody that is going through pain is broken. The people he trusted, the family he loved, the people he would do anything for, the people he would sacrifice his own life for is going through pain after a disappointment. And the only way he can release his pain is to tell you about it. The only way he can feel good in, in, in inside is to tell you about it. Are you telling this person not to speak up? Do you want him to die? There has been so many stories around the world of young men like Genosage who have died of depression. There are so many stories of young men like Genosage who have hanged themselves. There are so many stories of men like Genosage who took snapper and died because of woman. May woman not be our problem in jesus name and that's the same thing with all our beautiful sisters all our beautiful sisters being depressed being messed over by men the, the, the situation is not just on one side it's both sex so what we are doing today what we are going to be doing on this platform is to educate ourselves I'm not here for saga. I am too busy for it. I'm not here to bring anybody down, but I'm too busy for it. I'm not here because I'm missing my ex-wife, because I have too many people that can love me. But at the end of the day, we have got to be able to use ourselves as the example of the change we want to see. What change do you want to see in the world? Do you want to see more people happy? Do you want to see more people dying? Do you want to see more broken homes? What change do you want to see? What do you want to see? Sorry guys, I'm not taking any calls yet. I'm not taking any calls yet. When I'm ready to take calls, I'm going to let you know. I'm just out here conversating with my people right now. Uh, for some reason, I can't read comments on this platform. But let me check my phone here. What change do you want to see? Please go ahead and share all this broadcast. Share this broadcast and uh, tell everybody we are live. To join us, everybody, even those that hate us, invite them. Invite everybody who is not here yet. The downfall of a man is not the end of his life. The downfall of a man is not the end of his life. Matter of fact, the more downfalls you have, the greater strength you get coming back up because you are going to correct every single thing that brought you down. I am asking you not to give up, brothers. I am asking you not to give up, my sisters. All my brothers and sisters from around the world, not give up for all. Not give up. Don't give up on your love. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your family. Don't give up on doing those things that make you happy. This is my story. Excuse me, I'll take this call. Hello, Jonosage. Hello. 
Hello, John Osage. Please, I just want to speak for you. That has to make it. I just want to give you something that will bring down your mind. Okay, please, please. I would love that. Sing one minute. Talk to me. Now, I'm going to do it. Ebenezer, eh, eh, Ebenezer, eh, your stone of earth, only you are, oh boy. Ebenezer, eh, Ebenezer, eh, you are my stone of earth, only you are, oh boy. When I'm done, you lift me up. When I am sick, you heal me, Lord. You are my stone of death. Only you are my God. I say you are my stone of death. Only you are my God. I can't meet a day, Jehovah. Only you are my strength. You are my stone of death. Only you are my God. Never give up. Speak for us. Thank you so much. Thank you so Speak much. The more you the yes, yes. You yes. That's the point. To correct. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate your call, man. We are just starting life. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. I appreciate each and every one of you who love me. I appreciate each and every one of you for constantly understanding my point of view. Because my point of view is not an average point of view. My point of view is that of Martin Luther King. My point of view is that of Nelson Mandela. My point of view is that of Ambrose Ali. My point of view is that of John Kelly. My point of view is not an average point of view. So many persons may never understand my point of view. I grew up in a community or in a country whereby when you are crying, nobody's going to stop you from crying. I grew up in America, in a country whereby when you are crying, nobody's going to take you to cry. What, they do, what will they do if they cry? Most of us will do with both land. I've been on notice say if they cry, or you will carry tissue, we'll give you tissue paper, you say, we'll give you tissue paper until they wipe your tears. Because they want you to let your anger out. They want you to release that anger before they can even speak to you. Please, dear brothers and sisters, let people speak their mind. Let people voice their opinion. It is the only true way we can all move forward. It is the only way they can... Just a second, please. Hello, do you know Saige? Yeah, greetings. Yeah, good evening, bro. Good evening, bros. Well done. Yeah, I greet you. Yeah. So, man, please keep it with you, it's okay? All right. Or, thank, uh, you. Your side, okay? thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, thank you, thank you uh, I greet you, bros. God bless you, bro. I love you. Okay, bye. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you, sister. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Sawesi, go on na si me kekbe. Oh, baro ge me. Oh, na ya me womo. Oh, Sawesi. Everybody sing with me. If you are watching me from any part of the world, sing with me. O sawe se o gona si ma kekbe Gokba rogi ma I'm excuse me, excuse me, let me take this call Hello, John Osage Hello, John Yeah, good evening I don't want to sing for you Oh, please, go ahead, go ahead You know, I love, I love beautiful voice uh, I think, I think uh, your, your, your life is delayed Go ahead now. Okay. Yeah. I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything's turning around for your good. I can see everything turning around. Turning around. Turning around for your good. It is way with you. You need to 
Yes, yes. You yes. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. I appreciate you, sis. God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Another caller. Another caller. Another caller. Let me take this last call. Last call, please. Last call so I can talk about what we are here for, okay? Last call so I can talk about what we are here for. Alright? Last call so that we can talk about what we are here for, okay? I'm going to open the lines for us to be able to talk. Alright? Just give me a minute. Hello, Dionosage. Hello, Dionosage. Hello, Dionosage. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, sir. Good afternoon or good evening. I don't know where you are calling from. Yeah, you want me to talk? Okay, please go ahead. Okay. Why did you say that? Because to you, you are, you are, you are pain. Okay. Yeah, if you are pain, the best thing to do is to live on life for some time. Okay. <laughs> because right now, as you believe my you are just pulling the beginning. Okay. Okay, but uh, can, I, can I also, can I also, well, continue, then I'll be able to chip in. Continue. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, sure, sure. So, but I will advise you because it looks like you don't pick out that it's from your parents, from your head and from God and from God. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. But can I ask you a question? I'm, I'm not done. No, but that's not the way I conversate. When you speak, you also let me speak. No, you, if you ask me to finish, when I'm done, you, you, you can ask me questions. You, no, but you, you, already, you already gave me what you wanted to say. You should also let me speak. I don't converse like I don't converse like that. I'm the CEO of the platform. Have a nice day. This is it. People want you to act like them. People want you to cure your feelings the way they want it to be. But life is not like that. The way you dance is not the way I dance. The way I cry is not the way you cry. The way I feel pain is not the way you feel pain. Until we are grown enough to understand that we all have our different mindsets. Until we are grown enough to understand that, look, if Dionysia is crying, what is going to make me cry may not make you cry. This is a fact. The things that will make me cry will not make you cry. The things that will not make me cry will not make you cry. That's a fact. You want me to take an advice from you? How is that even possible? A man who is over 40, you want him to be listening to you based on your own ideology of life. It's not done, guys. It's not done anywhere. For those of you who have common sense, for those of us who have common sense, you have got to understand that you cannot really, really advise a man. Because you are only advising a man based on how you are. We as a human, we as people, 
we see things the way we are, the way we feel. That's how we see things, not the way things are. Did you get that? We see things the way I would see things, not be the way Osaze would see them, not be the way Ivier would see them, not be the way Amenarawan would see them, not be the way Cynthia would see them, because we are all different human and operate in a different capacity. Anybody that have not learned that, have not learned anything in life. So when you are giving people advice, don't give people advice based on, ah, this is the best way, yeah, yeah, well, nah. do it like this. No, you are giving them that advice based on what you know. What you know, it may be only correct in your own idea. And if somebody else use your own idea, they may totally fail. That is why it is important for us to let people do the things they want to do how they want to do it as long as they are not hurting anybody with it as long as i'm not causing you any pain i'm not giving anybody no drama i'm doing my thing if you are here tonight if you know my idea doesn't make sense if you are here tonight and you know my idea doesn't make sense to you please kindly check out on this live profile this program my story is to be able to talk to ourselves is to be able to know ourselves is to be able to contribute your quota there's somebody watching me right now please hold on guys hold on i'll be able to open up the line so i can talk there's somebody watching me right now on my story in somewhere in europe who probably don't even have a place to stay there's somebody watching me right now somewhere around the world who do not have a place to stay they have been moving from train station bus station shelter to shelter just to sleep and there's somebody also in that city where this person is let's use italy let's use milan or torino for example there's somebody in torino who doesn't have a home to stay but there's also somebody in torino who have a three bedroom they open house there's nobody in the house so we can use this platform to say you know what call in tell us your problem let's see how we can help you that's the goal here not you trying to tell me oh dion you are just fooling yourself i'm not fooling myself my brother i think that you are fooling yourself because you want me to act the way you want to act going forward i welcome you to my live broadcast and there's been a whole lot of messages and a whole lot of live videos and i truly truly appreciate each and every one of you all the live stream live bloggers people who saw where i'm coming from please guys i think i need to turn off my phone now because the phone is blowing up because people now see that look it's not the Onosage that is the best person i am not a bad person i am not a perfect person i have never ever said i'm a perfect person there has never been a time that i have said i am too good all i keep saying that i just want to be a better version of myself the Onosage of seven years ago is not the Onosage of today the Onosage of today will not be the Onosage. please guys respect my line and uh, i will not be taking any calls for now please understand that i know that you want to speak with me because of the love you have for me i understand that but please just kindly respect the fact that a whole lot of people are watching and uh, we are just trying to talk to ourselves on my story so if you have not already shared this now i'm challenging you to share the broadcast because somebody is going to be inspired today let your power flow in this place let your healing show in this place the power of god is going to flow it's already floating in me that lady that called me from uk that prayed for me i want to say thank you so much for that thank you so much for that hmm? Genosage, you don't take advice Genosage, you don't do this you want me to listen to you now, wow why does this lady keep calling me now there's a number there you don't need to come here there's a number there call me on this number is there an emergency you don't need to call me like that now so I have so many stories here. I'm sure that uh, Mr. Ubo is watching. I'm sure that the Asabo family is watching. I'm sure that the Adodo family is watching. I'm sure that my family members are watching. I'm sure that every single body is everybody is watching today. And today we are going to put an end 
to a lot of things okay first of all let's quickly go to the live video that was done by the miscrants in Benin City threatening me and uh, I think I saw a video of that let's see let's see where is the video Ship to Niger, well done. impression number one mr curtis i did not want to respond to you because first of all you are not on my class you are a local champion since i've met you last six years you have not stepped your leg outside of benin since i met you last six years i travel over a hundred cities in the world so i'm not supposed to respond to you but my people said it is important that i respond to you i should write a petition against you because i know that i know you I know you that all your threads are empty and you have a metal head, so I'm not going to go down far for you because your threat doesn't mean anything to me. First of all, you did not take me to go and marry. First of all, Mr. Curtis, you personally did not take me to go and marry. I was in Benin City. I had a luxury vehicle that I wanted to sell in Benin. And some person told me that, ah, there's this guy that like that sells cars. Some person talk, called me, they said, there's a guy that led to sell cars, give me his number, hey, what's up, I have a vehicle on the sale, okay, where are you now, meet me up here, let's go here, let's go one or two places, we went to the, about three places on that day, we went to Mr. Charles Asabo's house, that was like, okay, he loved the vehicle, he wants to buy the vehicle, we made the arrangement right there, and a few hours later, the vehicle was bought, and I paid you a commission on that deal, we left from that day, and before that, you did not see you again. I did not see you again after we sell the vehicle. So you did not take me to go and get married. You took me to where I went to make a business transaction, and, and Mr. Asabo himself was the one that gave me the two daughters numbers. The Mr. Asabo himself was the one that said, Dion, ah, these are my children, ah, Wendy and Winnie, ah, they are in school. Oh, that's how we started conversating. So let's correct that impression for you at first, okay? 
because you know i'm aware that you are a very also a composite player and a thug in Benin city that have been used to commit all kinds of crime and um, that's how that's why you were locked up for so many years by the governor of Edo state in treason i'm going to tell you guys how mr curtis wanted me to be a part of uh, a was it like a it's not a curtis group but like it's uh what do you call these people now? Society, like a, like one kind of society thing like that. I will tell you more about that. Just hold on. First of all, Mr. Curtis, I want to say that I am a big boy. I am not in your class. What my father used to bring for me to sell, that's stupidity. A young man who moved to America over 20 years ago, you are telling me that six years ago, I cannot afford to bring a car for myself to come and do business with, right? That's how stupid you are, bro. I mean, today's your 55th birthday. I don't want you to have a bad day. But for a 55 years old man, a 55 years old man who still have a local mindset, don't deserve any response from me but i'm going to correct your impression through this video and let that go and let my people talk to you my people on social media they will talk to you me and you we're not at the same level since that video since that transaction date i have not seen you in the last six years me and you never interact more than five times we are not friends bro we are not friends this is how you were able to connect me after we did that transaction you wanted to put me in trouble in those states mr curtis convinced me to be a part of a protest in those state that landed many people in jail. Mr. Curtis convinced me to, to join a protest in those state to MPDC that, all, that landed all of them in jail except me because the government of those state knew that I was innocent. The government of those state knew that I did not have a bad intention but these guys, these Curtis especially, had a very bad intention. His goal was to go and get money from MPDC. He discussed that with me. So, but thank God I am alive. Because what I went through in those state, my people, I went to war. I went to war spiritually. I went to war physically. I went to war cyber bully. Everybody was on me just because I want to help my people. Just because I left my comfortable place in America to say, you know what, my people deserve better. Just because I said, you know what, I can make a little bit of difference, even if it's for one person. That is my only crime. The only crime I have committed is that I am kind. There's nothing more than that. Imagine this 55 years old fool coming out on social media, threatening me that I should not enter Benicity. This is somebody that was locked up by the governor. I mean, there was an incident that happened in the governor that happened in uh, Belgium, town hall meeting in Belgium with the governor of those state, where I spoke in that meeting and everybody was angry. People say, ah, they like, if you come Benin City, the governor will jail you. But I was in Benin City the next week, nothing happened. Then you, you, you twats. 20 man of you cannot fall me, bro. 20 of Curtis Ubo cannot fall me. It's not to brag. I know myself. I know that, the, I know the people with me. You need to stop that. I am not worried about you because I've seen so many videos where you are, where you are threatening so many persons. You are just a noise maker. You said 12 hours. I thought that by 12 hours that I thought something bad is going to happen. I woke up this morning and saw you ranting online. I saw, is that all you can do? What possible can anybody say about me at this time now? What person will you talk about me now? Where will they make me the verse? What have they not said? What have they not said about me? What? What, what is it? What is it? You tell me. Jonosage is a wife beater. Jonosage is a prostitute. Jonosage is this. Jonosage is a phone one. Everything that is. You can't say anything about me. I'm fresh. Let's continue with this video.
years. You know, I said cars. You know, exotic cars. You said cars, cars, you, cars, you, cars, you don't understand. Thirty exotic cars. What is the party with thirty exotic cars? That's a long story, man. I don't have time for long things. Understand that. That's a threat word. There. The threat word, keyword, Diono Sagi. I did wait for you for Benin. If not, that I already have my plans. I would have bought a ticket just to go to Benin. Just to show him that he's a nobody. But I already have my, my all my plans till November. All my tickets till November is already on the transit. So I cannot do that. Mr. Curtis, there are many videos online. I could say, you know what? Let me get a petition going. Get you arrested. Go and write a statement, but we know that you have a mental health sickness. It will not make sense for somebody like me to start writing a petition, spending money that I could be using to soft my life on your stupidity. You are a total disgrace to all Edo people. At your age, at 55, you are threatening a young man who have not even insulted Mr. Achar Asabo, and I will never do that. You will never see me insulting Mr. Asaba because at the end of the day, he's still my, my father. That's my attitude. At the end of the day, the man, despite how he have treated me bad, is still a father to me. And that's a fact. There is no video you see anywhere where you see me insulting anybody who is a, who is a, who is a stakeholder in those states. Well, let's continue. I took I too rugged. I I too rugged. I get men. No worry. Can you imagine? Can you imagine this Miss Grant telling me to pull down my page? Are you mad? You, you get sense? You are telling me to pull down my page. Can you can you imagine? Can you imagine? That's sick, man. Man, guys, I don't think this is this is worth listening to. I'm sorry, guys. I don't waste my time on this. It's not worth my time. Those of you who believe him, go ahead and believe him. But here's the summary of that. I also heard that he said that Mr. Asabo gave him a $10,000. That's the force. Mr. Asabo never gave me a dime. No disrespect to the Asabo family. But Mr. Asabo, Apostle Charles Asabo, never gave me a dime. The only money he gave to me since I married the daughter. All through I married the daughter was 500,000 naira that was used to support our wedding. And the 500,000 naira was spent on Mr. Asabo's traditional wear, the stepmom and uh, the mom. Yeah, I'm very, very depressed. I'm very, very depressed right now. Yeah, make me, make me happy. May, may, I know I talk again. You always say I did depress. I did depress. Depression. Do you know what's depression? Person with depressed. No, no, they don't. Hmm? I am not depressed. But I'm saying that. Yes, Mr. let me quickly finish that. Mr. Asabo never gave me any $10,000. All they are saying online, the Onosage, IVF this, impotent this, but it's fine. But at the end of the day, it is only God that gives children. At the end of the day, 
we are going to put all our mockers to shame. At the end of the day, we will show them that there is nothing God cannot do. At the end of the day, okay, let me just block some people. Uh, block, 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 block. Uh, so, my people, at the end of the day, we are living in a world whereby everything is not possible. Just to gain some cheap points, you are claiming that Mr. Charles Asabo gave me $10,000. Obviously, maybe that's what they told you, but it's a 100% lie. Are you talking about Mr. Charles Asabo? Who cannot give his own children ten thousand dollars now give it to an in-law it's no disrespect but this is a fact mr atabo have six boys or more but the ones i know they are about six boys i don't know i don't think the i don't know i don't want to be disrespectful but we have to speak the truth mr charles boys i don't think they are doing anything major in benin that i know of the only thing that was doing was the senior guy who is also a pastor mr amadi who was running the the a part of the limit nightclub mr asabo oldest son amadi was running the part of a limit nightclub the hotel there where they now have club jokers but mebel asabo winnie's uh, stepmom was the one that convinced winnie's dad to rent the entire place, the big hotel of about 100 rooms, to the club in front of it, which is Jokers. So you are telling me that a man who has six boys, have, who is a billionaire, thank God for his life, have not been able to set up a tangible company or a tangible investment where his boys can work, where his boys can, 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 can say, you know what, this is my dad's company. Will not give me ten thousand dollars that what you a man of god who has six boys the man has six boys who have not been able to invest in his children to say you know what this is my investment this this limit hotel is my is my hotel right now all you guys come together i'm going to manage can you go to limit hotel right now is a stranger that rented limit hotel the limit you used to hear is a person that does not belong to the family that is running it. Kotizubo, you have you are you are 55 years old. Your oldest son is about 13 years old, which means you had your first child around 42 years old. You are 55 years old today. There's hope, man. There's hope. Even people living with the worst disease like HIV. They still come out and use their own story to tell people how to prevent HIV. Yeah. People with the worst disease, they will still come outside to use their own story to teach other people how to prevent HIV. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. There are people at 40 who are still living in their father's house. There are people at 40 who have never been married once. There are people at 40 who cannot even breathe, who use dialysis, who are, who are cancer patients. There are people at 40 who are homeless. But thank God we are here. Thank God God has given us the grace to move from one place to another place. Now they pay you for body, brother. Now they pay you for my body. The last six years, there has not been any trace that you have left at those states. Then you want to come to you want to the rock mark with me. Well, I'm not. Please, guys, do me a favor. Do me this favor. I don't want anybody to talk about Curtis anymore because it's not worth it. You want to use you to build this page. This is somebody that came out online and said you want to be a governor of those states. This is somebody that came out online, said he wants to be a governor. Look at the way he's talking. It's quite a shame. I'll move on to the next thing because it's not worth my time. It needs to go 
carry his guns and start killing people, do what he does. He's a thug. He's a thug. He's a political thug. You are online threatening genocide. The evidence is already there. It's, we have already archived the evidence. You think I'm stupid? May I take one call here? Hello, Genosage. Good evening, brother. Yeah, I'm watching from Uniben. From where? From University of Benin. University of Benin, how are you there? I'm very good, boss. Which day? Uh, how are you on I know they hear you well, I know they hear you well, I know they hear you well. So, let me read some comments here, I know they hear you well. Alright, so let's move on to the next, uh, let's move on to the next topic. Hello? Hello, I'm Good evening. Excuse me? I'm not, it's not time for that yet, just, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Speak up, please. Speak up. I can't really hear you. I need to upgrade my phone soon. Okay. Hello. Are you hearing me? I can hear you. Go ahead. I have a question. I get questions about people in the same age. Think of where they talk to me now. So, so. My question, my question is like this. I don't know how many people are in the same age. I don't know how many people are in the same age. I don't know how many people are in the same age. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You, you have said it all. You have said it all, my dear. This, a lot of people. Yes. That that just is 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 a, is a, is a small. They are small mindsets. They are small mindsets. Yeah. Oh, give me my, give me my iPhone charger. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. All right, I appreciate. It. So basically, I don't know if you guys can hear her. Is there? This platform is not because I want to create saga. This platform is for me to tell my story. I'm telling myself so that you too can be able to tell your story. I will tell you a true story. This is not even about relationship now this is about what men are going through what women are going through we need to address it i had a friend in texas 10 years ago this will be married joe no the thing is there collecting from the wall okay. this one will be married joe this guy is a friend in texas his girlfriend girlfriend who he date less than six months the girl leave him the guy end up for hospital for three days i said a person that I know in Texas, the guy we stay together at some point. The wife leave him. Not be the wife, the babe. The babe with the dead leave him. The guy go hospital for three days. The doctor talk say, I will say wait another day. Now so the guy will sleep or they die. Do you know what's depression? Do you know what's depression? You don't know what's depression. Yes, Omo, thank you. Omo do I my story we are all going to have an opportunity to share our story the story is too many there's too many stories to share a lot of persons have been reaching out to me a lot of persons are you taking what's the line okay a lot of persons have been reaching out to me
Amen, amen. Apostle Peter, amen. The downfall of a man is not the end of his life. So, Dion, are you depressed? No, your answer is no. Look, guys, please. I know you care so much about me. But the issue on ground did not happen yesterday. It happened over two years ago. The last time I saw Winifred has been over two years or close to two years. And in that two years, I have been to Canada four or five times. May God bless my leader over there, Mr. Tanju Omorui. Mr. Tanju Omorui in Canada, leader of Edo people worldwide. If you don't know Tanju in Canada or any part of the world, that means you don't know good people. There have been many times I travel to Canada, I go see Mr. Tanju, where he has asked me to say, Dion, I tell him no. Go and confirm. There are many times I travel to Canada where Mr. Tanju has told me, ah, let's call your woman now, let's just hang out, let's just... I said, no, I don't want to do that. That's because I have moved on already. I have left that situation. Even when Mr. Tanju Omori came to Nigeria with one of my other brother, Mr. Ojo, Victor Ojo, I took them to visit my in-law. Mr. Tanju Omoruyi has also communicated with my in-laws so many times, especially one time when Winifred was living in Toronto, uh, in Montreal. Winifred was living in Montreal. She got to work in the morning. I did not know that Winifred records every conversation I was having in the house. Mr. Tanju Omoruyi got to have Mr. Apostle Charles Asabon number during the period while we were living in Montreal, Winifred goes to work in the morning and she left a recording device inside our house. Every conversation I was having, this woman was recording all my conversation. That's the kind of prison I was living in. And that situation wanted to cause a big mess. It was Mr. Tan she told my Winifred then, told Mr. Tanju that she was about to call the police. She put my, my things inside those uh, trash bag, those trash bag, ba, 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 ba. threw it out. He said, he, Winifred herself called Mr. Tadju in Toronto, hey, pa, hey, pa, if you don't call him to leave now, I'm calling the police. That's how Mr. Tanju called me. He said, Dion, if you know you love Canada, you want to keep coming to Canada, it's best you leave now because if you don't leave, a police come, you're going to have a record. That's how I left Montreal. Took, was it a flight? Okay, I had a car. I had a car. I drove that night from Motre to Toronto. When I got to Toronto, Mr. Tanju said, give me the father's number. That's how Mr. Tanju called the father of Winifred. They, you know, talk, 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 talk. I went back again. Things are happening. People need to speak up. You can imagine a man who left Nigeria. I abandoned my businesses. All my small ones. I'm not a billionaire. I never said I was. And I'm not from a family of billionaire. But my family are content. We are not asylum seekers. Even after that, I still went back again. After they kicked me out of the house, put my things in the salon, a lino bag, and I still went back again. From there, we moved all the way down to Toronto. We moved to Toronto, living a good life. We said, okay, you know what? We're going to set up a company. I set up the company. I paid for the company. Mr. Tanju was aware. People around us was aware. I said, you know what? Winifred, it's COVID season. A lot of people are not working. But this is what we can do. We have a vehicle. Let's have a logistic company. All you need to do is take the calls, right? It's so, okay. We have a package that is leaving from uh, Highway 6 and Jane going to Brampton. Can you pick it up? You just pick it up. You give me the address. I go and pick the load. Everything was going on fine. But my ex-wife had her own ulterior motive not to make things work. Okay. Joe, why is your wife is she a bad head? Okay. So, did, I didn't know that the young girl I was packaging the future for had a motive of not even working with me. So I was investing, I was investing. Mr. Tanju was aware. Matter of fact, Mr. Tanju even took us to a lawyer. I said, Dion, since you're already in Canada, why don't we see how Winifred 
can since you have already put in for a paper why don't you add your name to it once you add your name once a paper come out you have your own paper then you can have a job in canada i was willing to do all that i was willing to abandon my dreams the dreams of a better Edo state the dream of of what brought me to Edo state i was willing to abandon it to move to canada but she had a different intention she was not willing to do that she was not willing to do that so every little situation that happened, she was always looking for a way to just know what, let's get him out, let's get him out, let's get him out. The story of my life. It's so many drama to speak on. It's so many drama to speak on. We are going to be taking it one after the other. My story is going to start. After I was emotionally abused, after I was emotionally tortured, after I was pushed out of the house that I was paying rent for, same Mr. Tanju also called the dad. Say, if they cannot, yeah, settle here, let's settle them. But the dad talk here, talk there, talk here, talk there. But I was shocked to see that. The woman I married traditionally, the woman I married in the state of Texas with the hope that after two years of marriage, I will be able to file for her so that she can not become a resident and fulfill her dream. The woman I had good plans for did not have the same plan I had. She had her own plan. And that's not just my own case. There are so many cases of women too. There are women who brought men abroad and when the men come, they change. But I am talking about my own story. Big shout out to Mama Taye Omorigi. I'm going to be mentioning a lot of names in my story so that it's something that you can verify. Big shout out to Taye Omorigi, Victor's Ojo's wife in Canada, who picked me up inside the snow the day I was kicked out from our second apartment again. I was kicked out, man. I was kicked out. I stayed in the hotel for two days. I stayed at the, at the Delta Hotel by the airport in Toronto. I was there paying bills. Mr. Mrs. Taye Omorigi picked me up this afternoon. Went to say, you know what, let's go meet Winifred. Let's talk to her. Um, it was another drama again on that day. I was like, you know what, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. I deserve better. I left. I was the one that left. After looking at the picture that, you know what? Winifred is not a bad person. Let's get this right, guys. Winifred is not a bad person. It is her upbringing and the people that she surrounded with. I must say it that Mr. Apostle Asabo really, 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 really wanted the best for me. But Mr. Asabo is an older citizen of Edo State. He's getting older and he's, I don't think that he has the capacity to always speak as a man. Because at the end of the day, if you are telling your daughter, my daughter, open that door for your man. And your daughter is telling you, no dad, I'm not going to do that. That's disrespect. A woman who cannot respect her dad. Would that, would that woman respect her, her husband? A woman who cannot respect her own father, can that same man respect her husband? The records are there. The records are there. I have the, I will play to you guys because while I was knocking at the door, me, I'll be a diplomatic guy. I know they may also have their own record. Make everything spoil. No, you all no say everything day online. Because me, I got nothing. I got, not, I got zero shame. I got zero shame in anything. I have all my records. I call a pa, a pa domo, a pa domo. My wife changed the key. Oh, before I come, my wife don't change key. Don't do everything, Baba. Okay, don't worry. I'll call her. I call. Open the door for her. Okay, TNL, we TNL. Where are you, my boy? Where are you? I get there. The door is still locked. What kind of nonsense is this? The only thing that kept me going was the, co the constant conversation with the father who always told me that my son, see her like your daughter. 
my son. So every time I want to ask, I always think of Mr. Asaba, that word, my son. See, as I of course, she's almost like my daughter because when I moved to America at the age of 17, Winifred was just about five years old or six years old. Life is crazy. When I moved to America at the age of 17, Winifred was just about five years old, so I understood that there are so many things she did not know as a woman because one, she was not living with her mom in the house. Her mom was living in, in, with the grandmother. Winifred mom was living with the grandmother. She was homeless in Benin after she left her husband. After she left Winifred dad, Winifred mom was homeless. She had no job. Winifred mom had no job. But the other woman who is preaching online, call herself a prophetess or whatever she call herself, Mebe Asabo, who came online to lie on a live video that I did not marry Winifred in the US, knowing fully well that it is all our discussion, knowing fully well that we have had meetings about this, about my plan that, look, I can't take Winifred to America right now to go to school because if I do that, they are going to charge us international school fees, which is too much for me. I'm just, I'm just a young person, just trying to survive, just trying to build a dream. But let Uni first spend two years in Nigeria. After the two years, after the two years, I will be able to go to America, fight for her. Then she can have scholarship, she can have grants, she can fulfill her dream. She wanted to be a doctor. That's fine. She wanted to be a doctor, that's fine. I told her, you know what? Being a doctor is a beautiful thing. But the kind of man that I am, dear, I would like for you to own your own hospital. Don't you like that? But if you want to be a doctor, if you want to go to school, that's fine. But I want you to have your own hospital. I was like, you know what? I think I even gave it a name then. I think I gave it a Win, Win Hospital or something like that. I created a shelter even when she was not living in Nigeria. I was building a dream. Even when I was living in Nigeria by myself, I opened the office for her in Benin. Gave people a, a office to be working for her, gave her my flat to do her shelter. That's how much I wanted to build the dream of the woman I've called my wife. But I did not know that while I was building her dream, she was building a different dream with somebody else. It is possible that when I get to a do state any year, I don't know when I'm going to a do state, man. The stress is too much. I think I need to go to Miami Beach. I need to go to Las Vegas. I need to go to the big city of California. I need to go to uh, uh, Kansas. I need to go to Hawaii. I got so many places to go on my next visit to America. Maybe till 2025 or 2026, I will not even go to Nigeria because I've done my best. I did not know that Winifred Asabo, who is from Agbo, had a different plan. While she was going to church, she always told me about this same Adodo guy. That, oh, there's one guy I met, oh, he's a good man. I mean, matter of fact, while I was with Winifred, this same guy was calling. They met, they talk, they talk about issues. I did not mind because I don't have a jealousy spirit. I believe that I've married you, I've married you. If you follow me long enough, when I opened, a saloon for Winifred at number 8 Boundary Road, one of the biggest spa in Benin. While she was living with me in Benin, we were comfortable, right? She had her own car, we live in a five-bedroom mansion, she had her own business, a, a spa. Okay? A lot of comments. Yeah. So while she was while she was doing a business there. I was planning a greater dream for her. It's not like I just married her and dumped her in the house. No. I was still responsible for the house. I opened a business for her. I bought her a car. Under two years. Rented an apartment for the mom. Alright. When she graduated from school, the, uh, her dad gave her a car. Gave Winifred a car as a gift. It was an ML something. Like a Mercedes-Benz car. ML. I looked at it. I said, Winifred, your mom don't have a car. Your dad gave you a car as a graduation gift and, you know, we are married, this guy is supposed to belong to us. Why don't we give your mom this car so that we can manage the one we had? And that's what we did. That's how our mom got our first car. I think she had one dead, one dead vehicle that she was managing when you are driving. And you want to tell me that I'm from a poor family? You want to tell me that 
my family are not family of Bilonians. What's the Bilonian in your own view? My grandfather, Okbau of Ui, built the first grammar school in Ui in 1970. Mr. Curtis, you online ranting earlier that Bilonia, Bilonia, what's a Bilonia? Success is not about how much money you have in your account. Success is not about how much money you have in your account. Success is about the impact you make, not about having 30 cars in your company. You can have 30 cars, your children cannot even afford to take a can pair. You have 30 cars in your company, your daughter is fighting as, an, as a refugee. You call yourself a pastor, a prophetess, you could not see vision. You could not see vision that this marriage is going to work. You could not help me out. You call yourself a pastor? You call yourself a prophetess? You speak big English on robo 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 shiki on your pages? You could not tell the Anusagi that look, I pray for you, the oracle of God. This marriage will not work, my son. God has said it. You could have done me that favor. My years have been wasted. Let's leave the investment aside. Time is the most precious thing that we cannot get back. They used me. They used me because they have a dream of taking their child to a better country and they knew that I had the potential to do that when I was not able to do it right away because of the dream I came for was in a dose state to transform lives. They had to find a second opinion. I mean, the, 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 it is very obvious. How can a pastor, how can a Christian family who says to us that marriage is for better for worse, for rich or for poor, for good ends, God has given you a test. God gave the family a test and brought you an osage. That's what God did. God gave the family a test and brought you an osage who is a little, yeah, like she said, metal head. You call yourself a pastor, you cannot cure a metal head patient. You call yourself a pastor. You cannot cure a metal head patient. You call yourself a pastor. You cannot cure ordinary drug addicts. You call yourself a pastor. You are running from the challenges that God has set across from you. What message are you going to teach your people in church? That when their husband don't act right, when their husband act crazy, run, 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 and go and marry another man. It's in the Bible. Women should not supposed to marry twice. It's in the Bible. Women should not supposed to get pregnant before they get married. Why was I not given the same opportunity? Why was I rushed that in 30 days, if I don't marry this young girl, that there's no marriage? I did nothing wrong to love or to fall in love with a woman that I saw as my wife. Because since 1978, my mom has been with my dad. My dad has been with my mom. And I saw the love they have for each other. I saw so many nights where they quarreled. I saw so many nights where, where there was a big argument. But they made it true. And that is a perfect of example of the relationship that I wanted to build. I wanted to build a perfect relationship whereby we all can love ourselves. But I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I don't want no perfect relationship anymore. I want Sophia, Anita, Candy, Osareme, Amen, Osasu, I want everybody. I have changed my mind. Marriage is a scam. Now, the do first is virginal. No, that's not true. Hmm? Marriage is a scam. Don't let people deceive you anymore. You can have a friend, you can have a boyfriend, you can have a girlfriend who will love you more than the woman you are married to. You can have a friend, you can have a boyfriend, you can have a stranger who will love you than the woman that you are in the room with. A man called me today from UK. He told me, Genosagi, he gave me courage. He said, Genosagi, I was living in that same Canada. A woman I took to Canada have three children for. All I needed for her to do was to help me with paper. The woman kicked me out. 
And today I'm living in London. I'm living in UK or Newcastle or something like that. Or Newcastle with a new wife. And God has blessed me again after 10 years. After good 10 years of a man who was disappointed by the woman he helped into Canada. After three children, the woman, woman driver come out. 10 years later, the man started again. I'm fresh. I'm still fresh. A lot of people at my age are just getting married for the first time. A lot of people my age are not, have not even started life. Yes, Winifred is not a real pastor. There was a time on social media about four years ago, three years ago, when I said that. I said, my wife is not a real pastor. If you go back online, you will see it. But a lot of social media people like um, uh, Lola, Monica, who were defending her then, came out and said, why would you say your wife is not a real pastor? Who does that? We may against this. We may against who, 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 did all kind of things. But the result is here. The result of three years ago is here. The action of the Winifred family, the Asabo family, the Adodo family, does that show Christianity is the question for you today. The action of the Adodo family, of the Asabo family, who are Christian family, did that show Christianity? For me, the answer is no. The answer is no because they have every means to be able to make that marriage work because, number one, it is what they preach. Number one, it is what they preach. They preach for, for, for good marriages. They preach for family coming together. They preach for broken homes. Number two, we have people around the world, like Mr. Tanju, for example. Mr. Tanju have called Epa Asabo several times. Did Epa even bother to call Tanju, honorable back to say, you know what, ah, Mr. Tanju, this is your boy. Why are you now? It, 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 I don't talk, I don't tell you. My daughter says she don't want to. Can we dialogue? Then you want to get married. You are showing. You want to. You want to. You want to. You want to rubbish me. You want to show the world that I'm a nobody. My grandfather had forty nine children. My grandfather of Bahu, who built the first free school in Uwanda local government in 1970. My grandfather, Okbohu, built the first school in Uwanda local government in the year 1970. Go and find out. Yes, you should go and find out. My father's brother, John Ijesu Obo, was the former local government chairman of Uwonde, so my family have been a first citizen of Edo State. I have uncles in Atlanta, I have uncles in New York, New Zealand. Do you know how many cousins I have? Because my family are not social media people. This is my story. Friends watching me from around the world, please, I would like you to encourage me. I want to open the lines up. I want you to tell me where I went wrong because this process is a learning process for me. I want to know the things I did wrong so that in my next relationship, I will not, be, I will not do that anymore. In my next relationship, so that I will not do that anymore, is a learning thing for me, and I'm so happy. I need to say this again. It is not that I am missing Winifred. Like I said before, for the past two, three years now, I have not even communicated with her. I have been to Canada many times, and there's no one single day I have tried to reach her. Please call me on the plus two three nine number. Let me give you guys this number. Just call me on this number if you want to contribute. If you want to contribute, call me on. Uh, let me see. Plus three four plus 
plus three four plus three four six one three two seven five seven three seven okay i have a call here hello genocide hello genocide you went wrong okay Okay, I'll answer that. Hi. Yeah, Jeno Sagi. Uh, greetings. Hi. Hi, yeah, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, is the phone on speaker? Yeah, you're on speaker right now. Okay. I heard from so many social media that excuse me for the that you are an arrogant man. I want you to explain this part that they are saying that you are arrogant. I don't see it that you are a, a, a woman beater. Let's say, for instance, once maybe you have a misunderstanding with your woman, you can like, okay, maybe you touch her. However, I know you're not going to beat a woman like just beating woman like uh, something else. I don't understand that part. In another part of the game that they are saying that, oh, you didn't stay, you didn't live with her, you didn't stay with her, you left her in Canada, you went away. Canada was not a place where you want to set to down, from my understanding, because you have been saying it, that your dream was for you to go to Africa to help the needs. Yes. So I don't understand why... All right, it's okay. I'll be able to answer that for you. Thank you for your question. First... When you talk about arrogance, you know, you don't blame people for, for their mindset because people don't understand the definition of arrogance and confidence. I am not arrogant. I just believe in myself. Okay? And many people who are saying that I'm arrogant, they have never even crossed paths with me. They have not seen me. We, don't, we are not in the same circle. We do different things. So, I am not an arrogant guy. I am just a confident guy. I believe in myself. For the amount of work we do in Edo State, it takes a lot of confidence, right? So people mistake confidence from arrogance, okay? Speaking about being a white beater, I am never a white beater. I'm a loving, 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 loving man. Yes, I have an anger issue. The most I can do is maybe hit the table or hit the wall. But saying I will start punching, he beat me, he stabbed me with a knife. This was all arranged. It was all packaged down. To use as a tool for their political, political, uh, whatever asylum they wanted to do. Everything that was said, if you walk, if you go back and watch the video they did many years ago, imagine we just quarrel. Never reach one hour. They don't put video online. The family, the brother, hey, what did the brother, the brother, the video now? What did he do you? He said he stabbed you. He stabbed me. Oh my God! He gave me. He said we are traveling. All this was all staged to use as a tool. And when I went to Canada. I, I involved a lawyer and I found out that they wrote a petition to the Canadian government that this was what the husband did. They wrote a petition against my name in Canada that my, this guy is abusive, he busts my ear. Things I did not know anything about, things I did not do were in that petition. But thank God for grace. Thank God that it has, it, 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 you know, it ended in, in, uh, in grace. So their goal was to make sure that I don't, I don't come to Canada anymore. Their goal was to make sure they find a way to mess me up or because they wanted their child to enter Canada. Any other question? Yes. Okay, sir. Hold on, sir. Before I forget this thing that is in my brain. Do you know that that your ex-wife has used you as a scapegoat for her It's very possible because I saw the Asylum papers myself. I saw the Asylum paper myself. It's my story. Yes. Hello? Yeah, this is the secret. This is the secret. No, it's a... And no wonder she didn't want to go back to Nigeria. When I went to Canada the first time, I told her, my wife, I've already married you in the U.S. before you moved to Canada. Why can't we go back to the U.S.? Let's go back to the U.S. so that I can, we can start life there. I said, no, but me, I'm living in America. I cannot work in Canada. I cannot live here, right? Those of you saying that, those people saying that, oh, I abandoned my wife in Canada. How, how can I abandon somebody that I'm married to? 
So I came to Nigeria to have a dream. My wife left me. Now you want me to leave everything I planned for myself for like 10 years to go and live in Canada, abandoning all my plans? That's not fair. I believe in my dream so much. Huh? Yeah. Moreover, your status, your, 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 your document is not in Canada. You have documents in America. Yes. That's where she's supposed to stay so that you can fight for her. But no, she hides until they cross her to Canada to take her asylum. So yeah. it was not your fault. People saying that this man, this gentleman right here, didn't stay to live with her wife. That's her fault. That's what that's exactly what happened. It is my story they used to seek and sell them. It's my story, it's there. It's not a, it's not a secret. I have all the documents. It is my story that was used. It's alright. Thank you so much for your input. Let me take on that call now. Hello, Dino Sage. Hello, Dino Sage. Hello, Dino Sage. Things they happen. I mean, not just men, not just men. Hello, do you know Sagi? Hello, do you know Sagi? Hey, uh, hi. How are you? Jono Sagi, good, good, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, good evening. I'm calling from California. What am I? I just have a quick, a quick question. I understand. The, I don't understand the, uh, uh, whatever I'm saying. The thing is, uh, first, I want to ask a question first. Yeah, you please go ahead. She, she used you. How did she use you, please? Because the intention during the marriage was already wrong. That's being used. The, uh, the marriage wasn't for love. John Osage, you left, you live in America. Yes. Women, men bring women all the way from Nigeria. The, the men have established before the kid, they have a home. You, you live in Texas, I believe. Yes. Nigerians are wet. They are very successful in Texas too. Yeah. They will have their home, everything going for them. They will bring a woman from Nigeria, bring their paper, file for them. Within six months, they have their green card. And they will sponsor them into nursing. These women will uh, finish school and start working. Two or three or three things will happen. Even the husband will bring their mother over. One or two things will happen. They will, these women will drive their husband from the house they bought 20 years before they brought this woman. Sure, sure, sure. They, okay. But you have not done that. You didn't even give her a pip. Are you not American citizen? Yes. How come you did fight for your wife? Okay. That she has to go seek asylum in Canada. Uh, okay. And how come? Okay. Thank you so much for your question, and I appreciate it. First of all, you know, you, mes you mentioned that a lot of people bring women and they, you know, through nursing school and all that. I mean, that's fine. And I did not do all that, right? When you talk about using people, uh -huh. we see it in a different level. For me. My time is worth way more than everything you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. Investing my time in a person who did not value it is worth more than billions to me. Because time is something that you can never get back. Time is something that is so precious. Okay, you're talking about time. So these people I'm talking about, they didn't spend their time. That's their choice. That's, that's their choice. No, what? Okay, you... Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, man. Okay. okay. Yes. Talking about time, people view things in a different way, right? For me, my time is precious. Some people, they, they prefer, hold on. Some people prefer that doing everything is a loss to them. For me, I prefer to lose money than to waste my time. And speaking on the other question you said, you said why I did not make an American, I uh, didn't fight for her in, in uh, US. Okay, so when we went to US, when we went to US, for the very first time, that's when we got married, all right? And I knew that we were not gonna be living in the US, right? Now, I went to a lawyer and I consulted a lawyer who told me that, look, 
if you file for this lady right now, it means that all she can get is going to be a two years temporary green card. And she will need to live in the U.S., right? But if you marry her and wait for two years, once you file for her, she's going to have a 10 years permanent green card. And a year after that, she can qualify for her passport. Do you understand? It? Is, that, is that correct? Yes. Because I was an immigrant, it was my husband that brought me here. Yeah. I, it, two years. If you have two years, if you marry her, she get a temporary card for two years. After two years, she becomes she can have a five permanent. So if you have given her that two years, from your story, she would have gotten that two years. Can travel to Nigeria. That's how we fight for our parents. Fight, go to Nigeria, spend six months, and come back. You can't stay. I, I was, I was not, I was not, I was not stable enough. To be able to do that but i did i did the right step she she, she was not suffering she was not suffering uh -huh. so i married her in the u.s i felt it was better go ahead man yeah if your, your mom works in america she can financially support uh, uh sponsor her i know you don't have, you don't work in america i work point of correction Man that travel hello. I I walked. I walked. Point of correction, man. Perspective. this married went went. Uh, you travel everywhere, and you marry a young wife, and you left this woman at home in Nigeria. Huh? And which way you are traveling? You taking her along? It, there's difference, and you, you, the, the father told you, my daughter wants to be a doctor, and you marry her, you, 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 you want to help her with the plan of being a doctor. You've not even sent her to school yet, but you are helping her to plan hospital. Come on now, why are you jump? Are you there? Hospital. School, she did not go. I'm right here, I'm right here. You hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hear yeah, go ahead. Okay, you, you see? Please, guys, please, guys, I'm listening to a caller. You like the idea? You, you, you like the idea of her? Hmm? You even went as far. You even went as far, even helping her to, to suggest an hospital name for her. You want her to be to home on the hospital, right? Yes. And you did not say that to school. You are talking about hospitals, I get. No mommy, mommy, mommy. Do you know that in a, in a real life situation, in yes, in a real life situation, you don't have to be a doctor to win a hospital. Are you aware of that? Okay, so I'm spe I'm always speaking, Mama. Hold on, please. But that's what I'm saying. We are saying the same thing. You don't have to go to school to be to own a hospital. I'm speaking from an entrepreneur point of view. I married her. Once I married her, she have her own dream. I had a bigger dream for her. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you this, man. Is it wrong? Is it wrong? For to say after marrying my wife, say okay, we married in the US, let's go back home, set up myself for two years, go back to the US, fight for you, and you can go to school. Is that wrong? Uh, ambassador, where you missed it. The married is I say I agree you married her. The married you married her, you shall be sure you would have given her that two years first. You've not done that. But I was not I was not I was not live I was not living in the US at this time. If I was living in the U.S., it takes, it takes huh? You, you want to come back in two years. Why not give her that two years? Because if you go to the U.S. immigration law, ma, are you listening to me? Okay, Mama. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. If you if you go to the U.S. immigration law. If you go to the U.S. immigration law, right, you will find out that if you apply for an immigrant, right, after two years, 
you will have to reapply again to have your permanent resident of 10 years. For me, I didn't see a need for that because I was not living in the US and I know that I can wait out that two years and file immediately. But before the two years could even reach, now so that they don't leave me. No, Saike, you missed some some way. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it. Because you don't give one, you marry the woman. Okay, okay but must I give her the green card? Must, even if I that, even if I that, man. Must I give it at the green card? It was that the motive of the marriage? Can't um, can't can't a woman live in the country where the husband live? Must she be an American? Must she say, you know what? I want to have a green card like you. Is that important? But, no, no, no. You, you never told her when you married her. You never gave her the impression you're not going back. I, that's that's what I said. Yes. No. 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 No, right? no, that's what the father said. But the family was aware that I came to a those states. It's okay, ma. I'll take the next caller now. Nine minutes is gone. Please call us two, just two minutes. Two minutes, guys. Two minutes. Two minutes. Hello, hello. Hey, yeah. yeah, greetings. How are you, my brother? I do. How are you, How you sir? Doing? Yeah. All bad. Yeah. Coming from yeah, thank you, brother. Okay. Yeah. I am not sister, so. Very good friend, and uh, talking about you. Thank you so much. Mama, uh, Mama uh, Fit. Okay, Mama Fit, yes. She's been. Yeah, I know her very she's well. Been. Yeah. Okay, yes, she's in Nigeria right now. Yeah. My brother, okay? Yeah. I understand where you're coming from. People will not understand the pains you're going through. All they want to do is to rant, to rant, to rant about what they don't know. My, my best advice to you right now. Brother, I know it hurts. Leave everything for God. Let God be the judge. Trust me, that marriage is not the last. Mark and what today. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you. I'm with you. Thank you for the advice. It's hard to tell you this, but leave everything for God. That marriage is not the last. For what it did to you, just leave everything for God. Okay? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. It. So from the last caller who called from the U.S. California, it is seem like it's obvious that you married a woman that all she needed from me was to give her a green card. Can't a man marry a woman and say, you know what, well, my wife, I am in Nigeria right now. This is where we are going to stay for now. Was he about the green card? Obviously, we have been vindicated of what we have been saying. This is what we have been saying that, you know, document, document, document. That's it. So, for like a woman like her, if her daughter married to a man like Genosege, the first thing she's going to do is to pressure her daughter to get a green card. Go get your green card. Go get your green card. Is he about abroad? After all, my wife's father is a billionaire. Can't we establish in Nigeria? I gave her a shop that is worth almost 10 million. I gave her a car that is almost 5 million. We live in a mansion in Airport Road. I mean, what else? Let me take another call. Hello, Genosage. Yeah, greetings. Yeah, this is uh, Mike. I'm from Houston, Texas. Hey, man, what's up, bro? Big H Town. H Town. Man, it's super hot right now. Oh, man, I can't wait to be back, bro. I'll be out there very yeah. soon, man. Oh, yeah. Man, as soon as you come, man, I got your number, bro. Anyway, people don't know what you're going through. They're just talking and see. They think this, this thing is easy. They feel like it's, I know what you're going through. I went through it and then, yeah. You need to get your guys' money back. You see? We're yeah. going to support you all the way. Thank you so you much. Yeah, I need, I need my money, money back. That's why I'm here. I need my, at least, yeah. at least they are going to leave me. They need to leave me in a legitimate way. If you, you can't just tell me that you want to leave my bride price in the courts. A man that has family. A man that knows people. We still have to get the US government know that that marriage, she has not been forced to assure you about marriage in Canada. Canada and Texas and and even we have the same law. Yes. Because marriage cannot be married twice. Yes. That is not fair before. So, uh, Osage, I feel sorry for you. I know what you're going through. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm going to take it directly. Uh, and yeah, you want, us, you want us to go to Canada and fight, go to fight a lawsuit with a dude out there. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, bro. Thank, Thank you. you. Bro. Thank you, bro. Thank Thank you. Bro. Thank you. Th I will. I will. Thanks for the encouragement. Yes, I 
I'll feel bad. I went through it, I'll feel bad. And I've yet I didn't say this to all the old men. Don't go and marry a big any woman to America or you don't try they will for they will leave you. No frustrate you. And don't 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 do not just leave you. They'll frustrate you. If you have kids for them, if you have kids with them, they're gonna put your chance up. They'll just mess your life up. Don't mess your life up so don't I Thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much. I appreciate. I appreciate you. Hello, do you know what I'm That's the truth. You will never understand how a man felt. Oh my God! Imagine living your dream. Let's let's get it straight. You marry a woman. The reason why I moved to Nigeria, Edo State, precisely, was to say, you know what? I want to build a dream. Now I moved. To Nigeria to be the dream. I met a woman that I wanted to be with. Started being with this woman, but this woman's dream was in another country. Even after she left, with all the thousands of women in Nigeria, I still pursued the dream. I still left everything I was doing, trying to go to Canada, trying to make it work. But a lady is calling here, telling us that why did I not give her two years first? So these are the kind of women you need to run from their daughters. These are the kind of women that will push their daughter to disrespect their man because of what they want. Because once you marry, you start to plan your life with your husband. Once you're a woman, once you're married, you start to plan your life. It becomes one. We plan together. If I was doing all my travel, if I was not investing in my woman, if I was not saying, you know what, babe, if I did not even marry her in Texas, to say, you know what, I'm not going to get married to you, I'm not giving you a green card, it's a different issue. The records are there. The, uh, the stepmom the other day came online to tell the world that oh, we are not married, but I brought out the certificate. It's a public record. You can go and look it up. The public record as of today shows that John Osage is still married to Winifred. You go and check it out. Please, man, be careful. Use myself. Use me as your example. Insult me all you want, but I'm, I'm speaking from a point of heart. I'm speaking from a point of disrespect that a family that is a Christian, a man of God, who is supposed to call me, my boy, my boy, come here and see me. I've never called me one day after my wife disrespected me. My, my in-laws, my wife have brothers. None of my wife brothers have even called me to say, ah, Dion, I know you and my sister won't do now, but you see them in Canada, but that's my grace. It was my grace they used to enter Canada because they received an invitation that their daughter is getting married. And the Canada government don't play with marriage. But guess what? All that can be... I can, I can decide to fight back. I can decide to say, you know what? Let's put up a petition to the Canadian government. Let's call them up to say, man, this is what really happened. We can do that. We can, we can decide to say, you know what? We want to fight back. A family that sent a woman, the other woman they sent the other day, calling, yeah, I'm, I'm the mad piece of the family. They said that, they said that they should go and take the money in the courthouse. Come on, is that how a reasonable person think? With an issue like this, can they say, you know what? Let's talk to this young boy, he's still our son. Let's assume I'm the worst person in the world. Hold on, guys. You're going to have time to call me. Let's assume I'm the worst person in the world. Can't the man of God reach out to say, you know what? Come here, my boy. It was not supposed to be like this. But we have tried everything possible. She says she doesn't want. My boy, you are going to get a good wife. Me, personally, I, I'm speaking as an apostle. Also, born now. I'm speaking as the man of God now. My son. Huh? What do you do this to your, this, your wife where I give you? We'll be saying she's already like this. Were you guys still fighting? No. But she said, I don't try. I say, okay, daddy, don't worry, daddy. Can't a man of God encourage a woman in law? Before you marry men, you have to look at the family history. It's very important. Before you marry men, please, let's do our best not to be polygamist in nature. Men, let's do our best not to be a polygamist. It affects our children. It affects our children, and that's my biggest prayer. To have a baby is as easy as one, two, three, four. I can decide to pick four girls today, not tomorrow. 
I can be, decide to pick four different girls that are in love with me today to say, you know what, you, 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 you know what, we are going to the US or we are going to Nigeria to go and have four babies. Let's go and have an IVF if it's that bad. But it's not about that. I don't want to be a daddy, a baby daddy material. I don't want to be a man that have a baby here, have a baby here, have a baby here, and cause all kinds of problems. From the way I've been able to raise our boy, Osamu Diame, you can tell the quality of father in me. And Osamu Diame that my ex-wife never even bought a toothbrush for. A young boy living in our room, in our house, don't even receive a toothbrush to say, you know what, they wash your teeth. A wife that cannot even cook a nice meal. A wife that has to go to YouTube to learn how to cook. The husband cook more than the woman. Well, I have no regrets. I have no regrets, my people. Because everything that has happened in my life has made me stronger. Everything that has happened in my life has, is going gonna, gonna to make me love even more the next beautiful queen that I'm going to be with. The next beautiful queen I'm going to be with. You are going to enjoy me so well because I've learned from my past. All the signs I saw, I have learned all the signs, all the signs. Maybe I should have been like my friend that called you that day. When a young man called me on my way from Akure during our engagement date and told me that, look, I have engaged Winifred before. And it was truth. You know, I discussed with the dad. The dad said, no, my son, I don't know. But I discussed with Winifred. Winifred said it was true that she threw the ring away. That's what she told me. That the guy was engaged to him. I don't know, some guy. I have not seen the guy. Bro, if you have seen this video, please, don't be angry at me. Bro, if you have seen this video, don't be angry at me. Because I did not know. I did not know that you have engaged this young lady. Please, Mrs. Winifred Asabo, with all due respect. Or uh, Mrs. Winifred Adodo, I don't know. Until I get back to the US, I need to go to the office to see if we are still married. Since you guys said you guys have returned the bride price, then that's cool. Look, I need my diamond ring back at least. I paid five thousand dollars seven years ago for your diamond ring. I need it back. Hello, Dionosagi. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, Jonah, what's up? Please, uh, see, I'm not supporting Winifred. I'm not supporting any. Yeah. Please. Please. Hello. I'm with you, dear. Yeah. 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 yeah whatever, whatever I'm going to say, please don't take it too personal. No, 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 no. We are here. That, I want, I want, I want your I'm opinion. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Please talk to me. Okay, Dion. Please tell your callers, eh? Tell your callers not to be wishing Winifred's marriage bad. Somebody just called right now and said that the marriage will not last. That's not fair. Yes, yes, you yes. You understand? Yes. I know that Winifred has done something wrong to you, but you see, sometimes what we what we mean wrong might be right to other person. Yes. Sometimes what we mean right might be wrong to the other person. Yeah. Now who wears shoe? Now I know where the shoe they pay now. Yeah. You understand? Winifred get family. You know we expect make Winifred family come to support you. No, they will support their daughter. Yes. Sure you understand? Yes. Uh -huh. Maybe they only wish the girl. All right. Back. Yeah, that's not it. Make, that's not it. Everybody. Make everybody there. Make everybody just you know they cool and everything. Me, my prayer be say I won't make this thing die down. May you get your peace. May you may you be happy. That's just my most concern. I'm Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, Diano Saige. Hello. You know, I mean, please, guys. Like the caller just said, with all due respect, I think even our worst enemy, and I'm the I'm the propagator of that. Even our worst enemy, I still eat with them. People who have done me wrong, people who have treated me bad, I still go celebrate with them. Please, we should not wish her bad. Let's pray for her. Let's wish her the best. Let's leave everything for God. If everything they did to me is fair, God is watching, right? God is watching the days that is yet that we are yet to see is more. We see how many days ahead. 
We have so many beautiful days ahead. So let's not wish anybody bad. Let's continue to pray for those who have hurt us. Okay? I'll take some calls now. Okay, I'll be called. Hello, Dion Osage. Hello. Hello, Dion. I'm good. How are you doing, brother? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Barry Star Bass. Barry Star, greetings, sir. Yeah, yeah I live in uh, Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. Where yeah, on, boss? What's going on right now? I think you need closure. If truly your ex wife has committed bigamy, we can help bring a justice. All you just need to do is reach out to me. Then I will help you do all the investigation to find out if. I give Hello? Hello? Yeah. Greetings. My baby this. Eggman. 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 You see? I believe you. I believe you. Of, of course, that one, 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 Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. I'll call you later. Hello, Jono No? Yeah, greetings, sir. Yeah, hello. What do you know? I'm fine. Good evening. Yeah, how you doing? Uh, I'm just watching your program and it's okay. I'm calling from South Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, what you've gone through, we all know it. I'm going to talk to you as a man. I'm an adult brother too, though we live here, whatever has gone wrong between you and your wife, John, I want you to take it as a man, you will have to move forward. Yeah, you said you came out to speak so that people will learn lessons and also so that you can save some other people. That's pretty good, but I wouldn't want you to dwell much on it as far as she has moved on, you need to go forward. You get me right? Yes, yes. Whatever problem, yeah, whatever problem that has occurred in life, definitely God knows how to settle things for a man. I talking to you, I was unmarried, what you are going through, I went through it. So I understand the pains, but that shouldn't stop you from going forward. Thank you. A lot of callers are coming, they are going to be calling you and will be clapping for you to pick up battle ready or a lot of callers are going to be telling you all kind of things but you are the man you knows what to do i wouldn't want you to have too much of that bad record anymore in the society where we live you understand me yes people are going to be clapping hands so even i watch i follow the comments and everything that's been going on here since a lot of people are actually there fit Fake commenters or how you call them, I don't know. They are not just helping the matters. Yeah. Just speak briefly about it if it's one or two episodes or so. Let bygone be bygone. That's fair. To the war from 
Yeah. So as a man, like you always do, then things gonna be alright. Thank you. So, thank you so much. I really appreciate the advice. Yeah, God bless you, bro. You can, you can save the number anytime you're in the stage. You can give me a call. I'll give you a truth down south. Oh 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 oh. All right, bro. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, much love. I appreciate it. Hello, Diono Sagi. What's your story? Good evening, bros. How far now? This is men supporting men. Most of our callers today are men because they feel me. Bros, talk to us. Okay, okay, okay. I'm here. We are here with you. Continue with us. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to make sure my name, I don't want to make sure the country when I did so, but maybe you see the video. No, Wala, no, Wala. Already see my, my yeah. Name. Then, my woman, my woman, when I, ma when I married before, me had that discourse. Because after I don't get Yawa, come back for prison. I mean, I had that discourse. I think I said I won't come out for the country because one year did they give me now already for, for the document when I get. After 10 years, I can't take out to one year. I can't come out, come out of that country. After 10 years? I can't. Yes, I can't. Now, I don't spend 20, 26 years for Europe. Hmm. I can't come, come another country. My woman now, uh, that can't accept, say me can marry one white woman. Then I think get another document for this side. You can't get a little stress for telephone. You can't come on go the country for come, go to the police, say, I can't marry for this side. Be like that. Your own woman. I tell you, my brother. My own woman. As I tell you, my brother, they carry me to for uh, prison for a year. For Two weeks from there, the carry me go deportation camp. From there, I spent two months for deportation camp. I come out. That the white woman like can save me. The woman, how uh, long you deal with this your woman? So wait, 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 go we'll report you. I don't get almost. Two, you don't get two kids for me. Oh. The woman, where you get two kids, we still go report you. Now nah, the fact that they follow me, the fact I say I don't get right to marry, to, I don't get right to do to marry for for Euro country, for different countries. Everything Coco goes out. As I did so now, document for that side now, you know they gay. On one year they do for that side, you know they gay. This side now, I did with no document, nothing. Sorry. After after having two children, you are woman couple for this way, gay? My brother, just little argument. Uh, say somebody, somebody married to go to marry go, go to get a do to, to, to marry for Europe or country. That that person need to be, be careful. In this way, they now the petition on the face on. How you continue to sustain now where you don't get paper? Me, I deal with my friend. For the country like this, so. But then, you never talk to your wife to see you now, if you make up, now don't say to. She not even say, she not the TV, she did the great now, say she don't believe say this country kind of feel like that. Say, you go come resort to this kind of uh, action like this. Ah, it's too late. <sighs> now what? This, uh, that woman, she don't know what she did, she did the one. Now my experience how it also. This is now, if you if you want press charges for this woman, another another people deny she will face. Very big one. As I said, this everything just condemned. They put the country on them. They banned me. They put my hand for grand. Say me, they stop me for that to deport me. They put my hand for grand. Say me, anything is concerned to come for here and I make I don't feel too To go back for go back to where for come now. I don't feel go back. The white woman, uh, that one, a little for shit. Huh? My brother, things they happen. Anyway, what you can do for me now is um, after this program, I'm going to save your number. I'm going to call you. Let's see what we can do to see how we can assist you a little bit, okay? I know that I'll be for Europe. If you don't get paper, nothing to do. You know, if you carry house, so many challenges. But I believe with my little contact in this country you are calling from, I will be able to still push you forward a little bit, okay, bro? I don't want you to give up, man. I want us to stay together, man, okay? I love you, bro. Thank you, bye. All right. Much love. You can, you can imagine that. That's what they wanted to do for me now. Woman, where you marry, call police for your guy. See the problem now. Who will suffer? Not be the children. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Oh, wow, things are happening. You know, so that's just it, man. That's just it. I've had a meeting with my family members today. I've had a meeting with my family members today. I'm a legal counsel assistant. You need to sue her and man to court. What they did is a serious criminal offense under Section 2901 of the Canadian Criminal Code. 
my heart goes out to you i'm all deeply sorry thank you so much you calling from canada plus one seven seven eight and uh, thank you so much i mean i'm hot i'm very very hot that somebody i invested in was secretly dating another man while she was married to me because obviously she did not just meet the man after we 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 we, we, we fought it was because of the man that they started treating me bad i am not a perfect guy but i'm always ready to reconcile i'm always ready to discuss i'm always ready to move forward i'm always ready to say i'm sorry i'm always ready to say you know what we can be together but they already had a plan that is why they started treating me bad hello good evening everyone good evening brother yeah, um, one thing I want to just uh, add to this is that, you know, I wish this family know that you are a good man. Yeah, because what you are doing now is just on Facebook. But don't they know that you can, there are other actions you can take to actually make sure that the asylum, that that gay, the asylum is dead completely. Completely uh, Of dead. course, of course, I, of course. I have so many calls already from lawyers who are calling me already. But that's not my attitude, right? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. If people are just saying about if, if you actually want to wicked those people, that asylum, you can actually nullify an asylum. Because if you take an asylum in the country where you know, you say, they say the uh, father is a billionaire in Nigeria, isn't it? That's what I heard. The grace know that this girl father is a millionaire, billionaire in Nigeria, the bitch is gone. Gone. Because so because there's no need for a billionaire because the billionaire daughter have all the protection they need. Yes, because the billionaire daughter can get all the protection they need. You don't need to come seek an asylum. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So they, you know, so because you are just being calm, or they are only seeing Facebook on the island side, like, they should calm down. They should be the one calming down. You know, the only thing is just that you know, you know, the, the, the only thing is just that the story, story. Uh, talk show because you just put in uh, and it, because trust me even the guy the new guy might even be a victim i have seen women who are very manipulative forget big english forget beauty they are very very manipulative they will look if you go i want you to go and listen to the new album king's disease by nurse go and listen to king's disease he said women have destroyed strong things man go and listen to king disease part two by nurse then you'll see what he said you'll see that is exactly what some women are doing to men you know as a man we react with aggression we, we shout and uh, but a woman can actually manipulate a man emotionally abuse a man when they abuse you, manipulate, manipulate the system. Even if the police come and she's crying, the police will take you away because they believe the woman. The woman didn't know how to cook the book. We just talk do with action, but they can do their own thing. They can do their. You are, you are, you are, you are very correct. You are very correct. You know, that's emotional abuse. Emotional abuse doesn't show and is worse. Is worse than physical abuse. Sure, sure. When somebody manipulates you emotionally. That's what women do. They use emotional abuse to deal with men. A man can just slap you and beat you, then you see the physical wounds. But the wound of the mind, the wound of the soul, is even, even more worse than the physical wound. It's true. Brother, what I, you know, I'll tell you, you know, I've seen you in action. I've seen the kind of you have. People don't understand. Everybody reacts to trauma, to bereavement, to 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 separation, to divorce, to pain, to betrayal in different ways. You know, you, there are some people that this will go will go through what they go, went through. That they will just ignore. There are some people they will go and be taking drugs. There are some people they will go and be taking alcohol. There are some people they will start fornicating and taking different women. There are some people they will just go and kill themselves and jump in the third way you see some people go and jump in the train track sure. and kill themselves because of things that like everybody we are differently. So you can't tell me how to cry. You can't cut a skin and expect that skin not to bleed. But what I want to tell you, my brother, is please. Please, I don't want to say no for 
no for a nine day attire at us, no for a four at you know that's bad. You know, so sometimes don't make decisions when you are mad and you just come, you know. So people should not say, Oh, it's on social media. You can actually do worse, you know. For me, my prayer for you is that I you know God gave you the strength, more wisdom, increased grace, ability, and just try to move on. I know that sometimes things happen like this for us to learn and do better the next time. You know, like your time is coming. You know, they say, you, like, you know, my mom, my mom used to say, no car to go up in, or go up in old one. You yes. understand? Yes. So, for me, I want you to just calm down, let that go, be back on. You are forgiven, but doesn't mean you are forgotten. For me, I want you to move on. I want you to do better. You know, the best response is success. You know, you are a shining light and nobody can dim your light. Thank you. You know, you just keep improving and, you know, you keep praying. Nobody will bring up praying. The prayer you pray for yourself is the best. Thank, Thank you so much. You Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate your input. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hello, Thank you so much. I appreciate your input. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Good evening, talk to us. Please, can... Our Edo people, I'm from Edo State. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed if what I'm seeing online is true. Can you turn down your can you turn down your network there a little bit? Hello? All right, please, when you are calling, just make sure you turn down your volume a little bit. Turn down your volume a little bit. I mean, there's no much to say. The point has already been proven, right? I mean, all the evidence are there. All the evidence are there. Okay, Chris. Hello, Diano Saige. Hello. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh... I just want to, uh, uh, I learned something here in your video today, and uh, I've also passed this kind of issue, I've also passed this kind of case. When my wife keep introducing uh, one of our friends, so when I ask her, who is this guy, she always said, it's my friend, uh, I knew him from uh, Africa. Finally, th that same guy impregnated my wife. Hey! Now what's it happen oh hey the only thing I just speak from your uh, live video now is that I want to advise our brothers whenever your wife introduce any man to you that is just my friend, please push the map push one push one fast because they are dangerous. You see those women that always keep me as friend. They will introduce the man to their husband. It's is my friend from the church or friend from the work. Or should they will stick? That same thing. Now, as in after she gave my wife Bele, my wife pushed me out from the house and live in Germany. Hi. Uh, so, today, so, so did you guys have? Did you, did you guys have children before this incident? Yes, she have given birth to one girl. So, so she got for inside your for your house. She was dating on that man inside your house. Go give the other man belle. Yes, because normally I always travel to Italy to work. You understand? Then I once in three months I always return back to Germany. You understand? So yeah. Each time I call, uh, I'm with my friend. The guy I introduced you to. I did suspect the guy that said this one. If I have you have you done the DNA for your first child? No, uh, that is what uh, I'm trying to do now. That's my uh, next step to do. Yeah, yeah, it's important. It's important. Yeah. So that is why I just want to pass the message. Please, any woman that introduce any man to you in Europe, most especially in Europe, please push that guy. Fast. Sure. Fast. Because they are so dangerous. Like play, like play, like play, like play, they will knock your wife away. You know, they will give her do do zeze, do do zeze, do do keke. Are you on the edge of it? I always play here in 
We walk, man. They play, they play. We are on the same boat. We are forming, we are forming single men association group. Move for the discuss. Move where our brother they come down. What they get sense. Nice talking to you, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Continue your good work. Yeah. You know, like I told you guys, that this platform is gonna help us all. It's gonna help us all because a lot of people are not able to speak up. So it's not a bad Winnie Fred. Because I mean, no disrespect to Winnie Fred. I was the one that did her a favor because she was just a young girl after living in America for 15 years, going to Benin to marry a girl. I was the one doing her a favor. I did not marry her because that was a billionaire. I married her because of the uh, of the fact that I saw her as a girl I could be with. So technically, I did the family a favor. Not be down with that talk for Benin to talk, say the billionaire is a billionaire. Come on. Mr. Charles Asabo is about 75 years old right now, alright? So that means that he's about 35 years older than me. So when Mr. Asabo had Winifred, he was not a billionaire. They moved to their new residence in Benin when Winifred was already about 5 years old. So Mr. Asabo's success probably started, let's say, about 20, 25 years ago. So in 25 years from my age, I will still be younger than Mr. Asabo, so I have a lot of potentials. I mean, not to brag, I am already a billionaire, but we don't need to start showing off with the material things that we have, because that does not define the onosage. We don't need to start saying, oh, this, I have this, I have this, I have this. I mean, Mr. Asabo has about 20 cars in his company. I mean, that's what he loves. I have 20 people that have transformed their life, including the daughter. I have 20 people that are sent to school. I have 20 women that I have transformed. And that's my attitude. So when you talk about be becoming successful, stop looking at the money you have in your accounts. Stop looking at the amount of vehicles you have. Stop looking at how big your house is. Because at the end of the day, we are all going to die. And once we die, even those are our children that we did not support, they are going to misuse our stuff. I watched the young man saying, oh, they're no saggy. Oh, they're no saggy. You, you, you sold your father's house at 22 million. That's how cheap you are. A young person that bought a house at the age of 23 in America. You are talking about a, 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 a dead house in Edo State. Trash. Matter of fact, in the last five years since my dad died, I have not even gone to see half of his properties. Most of his houses, people living there, I don't even know them. I don't even collect rents. Because of your poor mindset, you know, you're over there ranting. Hello, Dionosagi. You know, so a lot of all these situations that happen, and at this point, I want you guys to advise me. I've already spoke to my family, and I'm about to break the news. And uh, I want you guys to advise me on what you think I can do right now, okay? Hello, Dionosagi. Hello, Good evening, sir. Good evening, dear. How are you? I'm fine. Please, sir. I didn't call for contribution, but I call to ask you a little question. Yeah, okay? please. I will be glad to answer. Okay. You know, as a woman, one of the things that will make us to leave our husband's house is when the man is beating us. Sure. Okay. I would like you to answer with a sincere heart to your viewers and your followers. Were you really beating that woman? No, the answer is no. Okay, so please, why don't you just forget about this issue? Because your second, the second partner is not coming out to speak. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, you know, it's not about, it's not so much about my second partner, right? I mean, it's not so much, it's not so much about my second partner. It's, a, it's so much more for me about the people who are going through the same episode. That's my concern, not about the partner. I don't. I. I mean, I, to be honest with you, I don't even. I don't even care, right? But I know that there are people who are not as strong as me, because a lot of Edo people have got to understand that I am a strong man. If you look at the amount of people that have attacked me, the amount of people that have bullied me online, the amount of people who have done things to me, but I'm still standing, especially for the work I do, charity, things that does not benefit me that much. But I stood my ground with all the threats, everything. So that sing singular attitude alone should tell people that I'm a man that don't give up. I'm a man that have a tough skin. All right? So it's not about my ex-wife. It's about so many other men, so many other women who are going through this thing 
at the end of the day, we are going to be able to encourage so many people out of their drama, depression, and all that. Okay, you say you are not talking about her, but each and everything you are saying now is about her. Yeah, yeah, because because that's my story. Well, well, she she opened herself she opened herself for insults because if she if she how can you say it's not nice? Let me ask you something. You as a woman, you as a woman, you have a daughter under twenty seven, married two times in less than two years. Is that the kind of woman that you are? You as a mother, will you approve that for your child? Okay, so you are telling me that in a relationship, right? In a relationship that yeah. from a Christian home, are you telling me that if your father is a pastor, are you saying that the father, your parents don't have the capacity to be able to mentor or to rehabilitate or to fix whatever the marriage may be going through? What about if they have talked about it and I, who is the one that is inside the marriage, I am not happy? Then I will not allow my father to force me or my mother to force me to be into a relationship Marriage, marriage is not about force, madam. You see, this this mindset that many of you women have. No, it's not a do or die. It's not. It's not. A, it's not. A, it's, it's not a do or die at all. You are so correct. It's not a do or die at all. But most marriages can work if both parties work on it. And and you are right. You are you are you are right about that. And there are also some women who would not mind, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's life. 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 Life is. Life is. Life, life is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I won't be able to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will not be able to do that. I will not be able to forget the issue. Are you gonna? Are you gonna give? Are you gonna give my? Are you gonna give me my bride price back? That will be indoor, not outside. Go and sort it out with the family. So you, so you want the family to disrespect me publicly, and I just keep quiet. No, they will not. Fine, you are disrespected. That they say they want to place your bride price at the courts. Okay, why don't you just call them? Why can't they call me when when we're doing the? When, they were, when we were doing the wedding, they were calling me every day to bring rapper, bring goat, bring cowries. So why can't why can't they call me? Why can't the man of God call me? Is the man of what? Okay, no problem, no problem. This is your condition. I respect your wish right now. This is the condition I'm giving to you. I'm giving you 90 days to find me a wife. Can you do that for me? You know, I am scared. I can't look for a wife for you because I am scared. You are scared. Why are you scared? But 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 funny enough though. That means you have something to hide because because if you don't have anything to hide, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, madam. Only people who have bad intentions are always scared of public opinion. If you don't have any bad intention, you should not be scared of public opinion. If you don't have a bad, no, that's how I feel. That's my opinion. All right, no. It's all right. I mean, that's that's an act of prostitution. The traces are there. It's an act of prostitution. So having two boyfriends in a graduation to engaging a, a, a man that I did not know for 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 dating a man while I was still married to her is an act of prostitution. It's not an insult. It's a fact. 
Thank you so much for your call. I appreciate your input. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to take two more calls and we're going to call it a day. Hello? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. If I say double on one, what up, man? My son, I know what the as for fabricated is hurting, is illegal, and at the same time, uh, it's a it's a terrible offense. The more I went to now, the more I went to the judge on the government, just let. I say, as a man that is preaching that I could be peace, I would just be, I would beg, just let it go. Since we have done our best to have her, but she refused. It's okay, let her go. I'm just begging, because I think you had it enough. The, the, because the only thing that pains me was that initially she was rebel. But I mean, the price you with the police cause, but today now, at least she has, God has dedicated to that, you are not a bad person. Just let it go. If they call you and apologize, it's okay. If they did not, let it go. Okay, sir. Mm. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. That's my opinion. That is my submission. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, I appreciate it. Yeah. That was my father, Mr. Tanjo Omori. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. Good evening, boss. Bro, I greet you. What's up now? Good evening, boss. Yeah. Fine, boss. Fine, boss. Yes. Is it online? Yeah, I'm online. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry for calling. I want to make sure some people understand something. You know one thing, they need to know what they get. If they know what they get, they suppose no say if you be this thing, you be lion, that lion you be. You know, no, you don't use for you, they come outside, they talk about this, talk this going on me, you know, come outside me, you know, come talk me, you know, come talk. Why you know talk? You know, you mind You don't get right to talk your mind. You don't like to talk your mind. Absolutely. Yes, because you be human being. Exactly. May I may I may I do may I do some 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 may I not talk? Because because you the you the UK. How many years? How many months? And no no trace of job. Change. Change who they give them. I agree to you, my brother. We'll talk another day. No, you're mad. No, you're mad. You're so good to talk about so. I don't be sure they talk. You need to get a chance to talk to your word. Talk with you. You know, so you could make it there. You understand? Yes. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Hello, Jono Sege. Hello, Jono Sege. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, I listen to you on my okay? Hello? I'm with you, go ahead. I'm hearing you, we are yeah. hearing you. Hey, I want to say, uh, I'm sorry about everything that is going on around you. I want you to take heart. It's true. You have every right to stand and declare whatever any person in life think or try to say they ask much. It's like we all join them together to defraud you, pretending they love you. That's it. That's it. That's it. that's the fact. Because they pretended as if they really want to give their daughter out. But they were just trying to make you, defraud you, use you, and they started to dump you. They, they, I mean, they dump you, and they dump you, not be here. They dump me, slam dump, boom. So, these people, right from the beginning, including the other man, uh, Costas, I don't know how to call them. Cost okay. Also knew what they were doing. They understand all these things. So my brother, they are peace. I want to say it. They steal from you. They steal from your money. They steal from your wealth. My time. My time. 
a young man that planned planned his life at the age of 34. I came to Edo State. Let me start my life before 40. I have my family. We can travel the world, but they mess me up. Yeah, yeah, they mess, yeah, yeah. So this is exactly what happened. This is my opinion. So I want to put you in the same. A similar thing happened to me. So, but I did my own the other way around. But when I listen to you, a lot of people may not be able to understand. Forget any negative talk any person is saying. Don't just give it down because they've never got an experience like that. They will not be able to understand what you are saying because they don't know. I am telling you, they steal from you, they use you, they don't use. This is the truth. I know what I'm saying. If you ask me for that, I will explain what was about to happen to me. Just to my marriage. Talk to me, talk to us, talk to us. You are online, talk to us. What, what was about to happen to you? Okay, so three days to, be, to my marriage, when I came to Nigeria, I have to cancel the marriage. Okay, three days to your marriage, so your husband was in Nigeria? No, I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man. Now your voice be like woman voice. Ah, uh, if not me self, if not me self, I will cancel the marriage on you. <laughs> no, no, oh, oh, well, this is your own, this is your own, I will cancel on you self. <laughs> <laughs> When I see the shed kiss on ground, I just to call my family and say this marriage I'm not going to do again because the way the two be until the family itself, one of their okay told me, Oh God, this thing will be where they see and they want to use you like market. So if you know yourself, who so the the the, the message was coming right from the okay told me that the marriage then I have converted it. That the whole thing become in this one, in this one, this that or I'm going do this one for them. This one, the grandmother will talk, the mother will talk, everybody was just talking. So what I did, I said to keep calm, keep quiet. I quietly went into Nigeria, threw her away from my house, closed my door and closed my heart. Because I have not paid much. I have not really done anything. I was happy because somebody revealed to me where I was in Nigeria that this is actually what they want. And they never wanted the real marriage. So I never pretend that I love her. I have to kill that love, kill the beauty, kill the interest, kill whatsoever that they had, run away, and come back by the pretend myself, throw her away, close my mind. Close my house. How, how are you able to close your mind? Because me, I want to close my mind too. How are you able to close your mind? <laughs> Thank you so much, my good brother. I love you, first of all. And I saw you and I understand you. The mind is the soul. Okay. So when I was in Nigeria, I said, Oh, you are going to go to the house. They used me to go to the house. You go walk or you go walk. You, okay, you, you, you didn't put all your eggs in one basket like me. So that was why when they were demanding asking, I always ask how much, what you know, I why you know, I need You understand? So you were just saying, no, 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 this one of my home, my love, this is everything. You're, you were believing in her that this, I'm going to. You, you are setting it on. You are setting it on because I didn't, I, I, I never ever imagined that. No matter the situation that the pastor daughter will ever leave me, and that's the fact. Yes, yes. I, you know, I never believed it. So, so I was believing in my instinct that you were believing in what you were seeing physically. That's true. So what was my area? So what my instinct was telling me, I was working on that. Hmm. So what hmm. the, the, the physical act of you were working on that? Yes. So they told me that I should build a house for them in Lagos, and I called the father. The okay, so this one now the father, the mother, they all join her together and go to one side. But I was having somebody who was revealing to me what actually was not that was not there. Yes. As a part as inside the family. Inside the family, yes, inside the family. So I make a friend into the family to you know continue to ask. I think when I asked me to be the house of them in Lagos, then the father now told me, You don't have a house in Lagos. Why would somebody be to you a house in Lagos? You wait. Let's see if actually they really come to rob you or they come to stay. Tell them 
that if you stay, I can build the house, but if you go, I won't. It's not a hurry. A woman can stay in the man's house. After six, seven years, you not have to build Speaking on that, speaking on that, I think uh, it's part of the, also the challenges I also had in my own marriage because... Um, you know, while I was married to my wife, like I've earlier said, uh, the mom was homeless. I had to rent an apartment for her. And every time, the mom always tells us that, you know, she has a land somewhere in Bobaye. When are we going to build a house for her? Even when Winifred w went to Canada, that pressure was on her. Build house, build house, build house. So I totally understand. Okay, me, they told me to build a house for them, you know, one. They, they, I have a house in Nigeria. I have about three houses. So she was staying in my house. My name is the, I'm the owner of the street, and that's my house. So then the mom that now framed the story of that, there was a time I come out and came to my house. They stole my car. They took my under pilot away. So then the mother now called me and told me that the team came to my house. They took my under pilot away. What about if they have raped my wife? Then I will now accuse her that maybe some of the boyfriend she's sitting around came to rape her. I will not believe. If it is, if it is, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. There are more days ahead and uh, I congratulate you for taking a bold step. And uh, I think that uh, you are a wisdom man. Thank you so much. <laughs> alright, thank you for calling me. You made me laugh. I appreciate you. Alright. I love you. Alright. Alright, Dion Osage. Greetings. Oh, why is it about Domo? He said, Good word. Off for me. Uh, if you're burning me time away, in this life, if you are so look at our move for those people who call you when they can't burn you. Understand? Yes. So we are doing what they move when they are after. Yes. Get the platform. They are making a way at our door. Yes. Yes. Like you, like you, tell me that's the local champion. I tell me I'm Baba. How much you get? What's the source of income? What does he have? My brother, where's my brother? Thank you for your advice. Those guys, those guys, in here, in here, that world. In marriage, man, I work. Every night, that we do. In marriage, man, I work. I do this every night. We don't get zero money. Go make one. So that we make it happen. We make it happen. We don't make it understand. In marriage, man, I work. I will put you. I will pay you because you don't know the best. No, somebody will be without. Yes. You understand? Because in marriage, we're not set up, you know. I will not play with you. We can go. Kapo, we shall not buy a life. We possess a we will wear. I dare to move. We will not claim it for party wear. Exactly. Exactly. But we thank God. We run life. If you don't come out soon that way, yes. She went at this. What she did. Yes. You understand it? Yes. I'm not your rabbi. Yes. So believe me, my brother. As we will do, we will pack the do. No, we will do. I want battle base. He run your fame, making noise. He am a real boy. No, we will be doing. Yes. Understand? We they see you. I want to pack threatening. We have been threatening one day. And I want your hair, boy. I have been weak. Yes. We will do. Yes. You understand it? Yes. And we get now. In our way, we wear Ariya black dress. We wear Ariya new. I get a good play. We move on. No, but the, but the issue now is that I mean I don't have a problem with getting my bread price. Okay. In our way, a bread price is man. In our yard, if you cut, in our in our maybe go make yeah. Igba, get the yard bread price if you cut. But my my family, if 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 if. They are where about the practice, they are written. So they are making their noise. It's alright. It's alright. Thank you. 
the man in the man had this new life here. John Osage, I love you as a brother. I understand the man. Yes. They go on the social media. I understand the man. So yes. They go on the social media. But I believe we are not going to see the Yes. I understand. Yes. I understand. Yes. I understand. Yes. I understand. Yes. On a could be at the day, but for three years ago, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. 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 Kakabo? Yes. Yes. Okay, he's our brother. <laughs> yeah, he's okay. It's all right. It's all right, bro. Thank you so much for your input. I have to call off the show now. Okay. Thank you so much. No. No other. No other. Thank you for the call. I really appreciate. I really appreciate. Last caller. Last caller. Last caller. Last caller. Last caller. Hello. Hello. Can you? Hello. Good evening. Hey. Good evening. You are calling from Canada. Talk to me. Yes, I'm calling from Canada. I just have uh, just two questions that I want to ask. Please go ahead. Yeah, I just want to know: Did Winnie Fred in any way try to return your bride price or divorce you before before she got married? Not, not that I know of. Um, I've called my family as of yesterday. Headers in my family. I've called close friends to ask. They have not received any information about that. And I also went ahead to look at the records in the state of Texas. Uh, we are still legally married in Texas. So, obviously, she did not. But, but she can't legally marry in anywhere and will get married in Canada. Because it happened to me too. Before I got married, I was once married. Before okay. I got married to another man. Okay. I tried to return the bride price and divorce my husband. He didn't respond to my letter and to my my family. Okay. And I divorced him, and I got married. Okay. So yeah, so think... so did your did your was your, was your family member uh, was your family member aware of the of the issue? Yes, they are aware of the issue. Okay, I but on this particular know, note, but... none of my family member is aware. But I was hearing one of your family said. They contacted your mother. Yeah, my mother told them to contact the head of the family. My mother is not in a position where to to speak on 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 marriage issue, right? That's what my mother said. Because I was there in Winifred's, Winifred marriage. Okay. I know that she divorced you in Canada because you have the right to divorce somebody when you are illegal. Okay, I mean, if she divorced me in Canada, then I don't have that information. I deserve to have some copies of the information, right? No, when 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 it, when it reached you about one. Or twice, she have the right to divorce you when you didn't reply. I I would be so happy to receive the divorce, and I'm gonna have a divorce you party. Can, I don't think you can receive it because you didn't obey. To, you didn't. Maybe uh, he sent you a letter and you didn't sign. And in Canada law, you have the right to do it without the person. Okay. So you didn't respond. Okay. Because it happens to me, I do my own without my my ex husband signing. It's a good information you are giving to me, but whatever the case may be, I will be so happy to receive it, to accept it, and move on with my life. I think she already done that. Okay, well, I'll be in the I'll be the U.S. soon, and I get to find out things on my own. Because you can't marry, you can't illegally marry to two people at the same time. Yes, ma'am. If she didn't do it, she can't marry. She can't wed publicly. Okay. I think that she do it. Okay, no problem. What, what, are you, what I just want to advise you, just move on. Just forget all this, uh, this uh, media rant. Forget uh, it and move on. No problem. There is, there is beautiful girls out there and you can get one. 
All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. God bless so you. That All right. My All right. You. God bless you, mommy. Thank you. Thank All right. You. I think that's it for the night. And uh, it's been a lovely, lovely time chatting up with you guys. The few hours we have spent have relieved my stress. I've relieved my mental health. All your opinions are welcome. All your advice are welcome. But one thing we must know, we must let people address how they feel whenever they feel sad. We must let people move forward. We must come together and continue to unite families. We must come together and continue to support us. I'm no longer taking any calls, guys. I am no longer taking any calls. Thank you so much for all your imputes. So I think that at this junction, I've had a fa family meeting. You heard my daddy, Patanju Omoruyi, called, who is also um, a big, big, big supporter of our God sent family worldwide. He's our patron. He's like my, he's my father, not even like my father, because a man who cry when I cry, a man who hurts when I hurt, a man who constantly wanting the best for me is a father. Family right now is not about blood relation anymore. It's about those people who come into your life and never left. And I really want to say that um, I think it's time that I let bygone be bygone. I think it's time for every social media platform to say, you know what, let it be. I know that you guys are fighting for me. You are fighting a big, big, big fight for me. You are fighting for me because of the disrespect. You are fighting for me because of how they have treated me. Because the treatment is unfair. It's unfair. Nobody deserves to be treated like that. All right? Even if I'm the worst person in the world, can the church pull me in? Right? It's in the Bible that once a woman married, once a man married, it's only through death that they can separate. After a, a, a man or a woman married once, he's not supposed to go and marry again. But this time now, my wife, ex-wife, was fornicating even before marriage. And they call the man they married to a pastor. It's unfair. Everything that did was unfair, but because we constantly have a forgiving hearts, because we constantly carry the pride of the Benin Kingdom, because we constantly love our people, we are going to say, you know what? We are going to forgive them. We are going to forgive the Asabo family. We are going to forgive the Adodo family. Because love and forgiveness is all we have. Love and forgiveness is all we have. Forgiveness is a thing of joy. Forget. I don't even know how to express it. This is, this is not the first time I have shown forgiveness. I have constantly shown people that I have love in my heart. I spoke to my family members. I had a family group call today. My leaders have called me that since the family said they dropped the bride price in the courts, then that's fine. That's fine. If it's in the courts, that's fine. But the gods and our ancestors will continue to judge this matter. The end shall tell. The hand will tell. We're going to let the bride price be in the court. I have accepted the bride price back and life goes on. It is not the end of the world. It is not the end of the world. Life goes on. But we are not going to stop telling our story. We are going to continue to use our platform to inspire people. The story is going to move on. Are oh, you see this? Is Jesus. My oh boy. The story is still going to move on. We are still going to be talking about the story, but I have let go. Please don't again and start telling me, Oh, Dion, forgive and forget. Don't do that. Don't tell me forgive and forget. I forgive, I don't forget. I forgive and I don't forget. Because if I forget, I may make the same mistake again. So I will constantly remind you of these issues that happened. We are going to let bygone be bygone. We are going to let everything that happens slide, not that we don't know our capacity. Those of you who are ranting online saying that we should not come to a do state, when I'm coming to a do state, I'm going to give you my exact time and location so you can come and find me. All the social media platforms who have said something about this current issue. I want to say thank you so much and it is time we form a social media union 
Edo because I've been able to solve so many cases in Edo State that has to do with social problems. Edo Social Media Union is a thing that we can create to solve so many other issues on social media because at the end of the day, we don't need to be on social media fighting ourselves. We can use social media to... Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. So like I said, all right, uh, let's leave everything for God. Let's leave everything for... Your Papa Wala side chick, the screenshot your life. <laughs> let's leave everything for God. I am moving on and I want you to move on too. Jesus loves you. I'm taking the position of the bigger person. I'm taking the position of a pastor. I am praying with you. I'm praying for every, every broken home that God is going to restore your home. I'm praying with you that everything that is troubling your marriage is broken today. All right? I am praying for you. I'm taking the side of the man of God this time now, telling each and every one of you that it is well with you. All right? All the barriers, all the all chains are broken today. And this is going to be the last time I'm going to talk on that issue. I have let it go. I am moving forward. I am moving forward in the name of Jesus. And I want you to move forward as well. Learn to forgive. Learn to love more. In God we trust. Please, she should return the engagement ring. Yeah, I would love that engagement ring back because it's very, very expensive. I bought it from, uh, where did I get it from? Stephanie's. In, uh, I bought it in, in Austin, Texas. You know, at the dealers in Austin, Texas. Please, my dear Winnie Fred, if you are seeing this video, please return the wedding ring back. It's a big investment. Hmm? Return the wedding ring back, okay? All right. <laughs> what are the diamond ring? Still not life. Now, diamond ring, you're doing ahead. Diamond ring. Yeah, yeah, people. Mm? I love diamond ring. Okay? So, I think that we are going to move forward because at the end of the day, I don't want to be overweight myself. I don't want to see myself sleeping every day thinking about the trauma and the drama. I think doing this is going to relieve me from so many pain. All right? So, I'm doing this for myself. All right? Since they said I am a nobody... I have re they have returned my bride price at the court. It's fine. No problem. Okay? No problem. We'll, we'll take it that way. Okay? Since they said they have divorced me already, they sent me paper. I did not sign it. No problem. Life goes on. I know that God is going to send me a beautiful queen. If you are up there, my queen, if you are up there, I am guaranteeing you today, I am promising you today that everything I did wrong before, it will not happen to you. Even if I have to leave social media to protect your love, I am going to do that. Because at the end of the day, you are going to mail the entire world to me. I am not a bad person. The only problem I had was using social media platform to showcase the problems in my community and using social media platform to raise money to solve it. That's the only problem I have. I have friends in the U.S. All my friends are in the millions. I have friends who are relators. I have friends who are tasks. Tell uh, guys, I have friends who are IT guys. I am an IT guy. The other lady that called earlier said, you know, I know you don't work in America. I love. Look, this is my laptop. I have a scrum job. I make $80 an hour. In the last three weeks, I have been making $80 an hour, eight hours every day. So the world has advanced. You don't need to be in the U.S. and be working. You can be in the Indian and be working in the U.S. We don't have to start showing our source of income because it's not important what is important that you are able to live the life that you need what is important about life is that you are able to live the life that you need so we are doing well for ourselves friends if you are getting married never put all your heads in one basket and that's including men and women not just men we should never put all our heads in one basket because if if, if a man disappoints you, you are going to be hurt. If a woman disappoints you, when you put all your head in one basket, it's going to be hurt. Baby girl, baby girl, I'm going to give you 99% of my love. But I'm going to keep 1% for myself in case you decide to break my heart. So I can use that 1% to bounce back. Let's read some comments and move forward. Let's read some comments. All right. So uh, my daddy has talked to me, Mr. Tanju Omori, headers of my family, all my callers, all my God sent family. I don't want you guys to feel bad because many of you have been calling me, say, John, let it go, let it go, let it go. If I don't listen to you, who will I listen to? If I don't listen to people who will support me, 
People will love me. People will say, John, let it go. If I can't listen to you, you that consoles me, if I don't listen to you, then who am I going to listen to? Nobody. I am praying with you today that no weapon formed against your marriage, your business, your children shall prosper. Every manipulative demon that is manipulating your destiny, that is manipulating your future, that say that you will not make it, I break that chain tonight. I break that chain of, of, of evil. From this moment on, all your faith marriages is settled. From this moment on, all the drama you are having in your home is settled. If you are a man, you are watching me right now, you are having a problem with your wife, I want you to call her and tell her how much you miss her. Alright? If you are a woman, you are having a problem with your husband, I want you to call him and tell him you love him so much. We can all get along. Relationship, we can all get along. Anybody can be with anybody if we have a common understanding. It's not difficult to love ourselves. It's not difficult to love ourselves. We can all love ourselves. We can all be friends. We don't need to be enemies. 100 years from now, 100 years from today, each and every one of you watching this video today, we are going to be dead. 100 years from today, each and every one of us watching this live video, including myself, we are going to be dead. So why are we showing power? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? Instead of hating Jelosage, instead of hating joy, instead of hating mercy, why can't we love more? Why can't we love more? Why can't we show that the love of God, the love that God has for us, why can't we show it? Look, man. I would have loved to say that, but it's disturbing my mental health, okay? I don't sleep well at night because of that, okay? I think tonight I'm going to sleep very good, okay? Tonight I'm going to sleep very good. Let them go with it. I spoke to my members of my family. They said, if they said we are nobody, that since they said they have returned in the courts, let it go. No problem. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it, okay? So I read some comments and uh, we'll call it the night. That place is still open. That place is over there. Chop fish. Uh, okay, I read from AMB. We're still looking. Now that diamond ring, when the husband take engage. Okay. Only bell. J boy, not tell him. Uh -uh. Please, I want to make this very clear. This platform is not for saga. We are here to teach ourselves. We are here to encourage ourselves. Okay? Please, no saga here. No saga. Alright? Uncle John, end class now. Make we go sleep. <laughs> okay, Chantel, have a good night. I love you all. Royal Majesty, we love you, Dion. I love you too. Royal Majesty, I love you too. Thank you so much. Oh, do worry, no weapon for me against you, Chaprosa. Thank you so much. I love each and every one of you, man. Without you guys, where am I? Please continue to support me. Don't leave me hanging. There are days that I'm going to make you angry. Please don't take it too personal because sometimes. Like they said that I'm crazy. Maybe. But please, if I hurt you, don't take it personal. Forgive me. I'm only human. But the important thing is, if I recognize my mistake, I'm so quick to say I'm sorry and try to make amends. Every day I'm a work in progress and I want you to know that I love you so much. Thank you for taking out your time to be with me tonight. We must continue to project at those states. We must continue to project our community. We must continue to tell our people that Edo people are loved. We must continue to support the dream of the Oba of Benin, the Akugbe that I preach. I am the founder of Akugbe Unity. I've been around the world uniting Edo people. So if I cannot put myself in that position to say, you know what, let's come together, let's move forward, let's forgive, then I don't deserve to be the leader of God's Saint Foundation. If I cannot support, if I cannot show by example, what I preach of unity, forgiveness, and kindness, if I cannot use myself to show that example, then I don't deserve to be the leader of a God sent foundation. And that's the same attitude I want you to have. I want you to have the attitude of forgiveness. I want you to have the attitude of kindness. I want you to have the attitude of believing in God that there's nothing God cannot do. 
I want you to have the attitude of that there's nothing God cannot do. A bad in-law today can be the best in-law tomorrow. A good in-law today can be a worst in-law tomorrow. Believe in change. It is possible. It is possible. Believe in God. Have faith in God. Hold him tight. Never give up. I love you guys. Till tomorrow, no, no, no. Tomorrow is not going to be possible. Till next time, let me take two days off and sleep, meditate, talk to my God, and plan my life forward. Now that I am fully aware that I have lost completely, but I know that God is going to give me a bright, shining star, and I'm not going to lose. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I love you.